We, uh, hey, welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, shit, we're still doing this? Yo, Wait, this, oh. this is in Blurse of Stress? Yeah, despite <laughs> what, despite what many mm. may have thought, <laughs> Call of Cthulhu was not replaced by Blurse of Strahd. Instead, <laughs> uh, we just couldn't do it for four fucking weeks. <laughs> And here we are with your slightly early Halloween special. That's right, the There's real no horror. Uh, way. That's right, we're not playing There's until no after Halloween. There's no fucking way we're going to play till after See Halloween. See you all next month. <laughs> this is now a monthly game. We're going <laughs> to... The, the, the next, the time, the next we game well... we got to... All right, guys, we'll, I'll see you on fucking December 28th or some shit. <laughs> Please be bored. I got to go play Idolmaster, so... <laughs> That's a, that hurts me, though. When Please look forward that. to the next edition. It's only it could be, worse, the, it, could be it doesn't say it doesn't say next issue like date at the back of our Call of it Cthulhu. It says to be continued. Look forward to the next March twenty. It doesn't even fucking give you an idea. Anymore. It just says to be continued. I will get back to it at some point. I don't know when. Mark at the end there. We're still on the boat. I'll draw a picture every maybe. <laughs> Anyways, Call of Cthulhu, we're back. The the, the Hess truck's back, and it's better than ever. The what? <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. What? Why? Did you live in a log cabin? I would have been here. The Hess <laughs> truck's <laughs> back, and it's better than ever. <laughs> I don't know what the Hess truck. <laughs> the Hess truck's here. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure you just said the Hess truck is here. The Hess truck. Once here. again, is he's, they're singing their. I feel like there was a there was a third line France. in there that is actually fucking. What this is fuck incomprehensible. I don't know. See, see, I'm not the only one. Don't yeah. sing your northeastern ritual chant. This is only yeah. northeastern. Fuck. Hess truck. The fuck's Mom, I'm delivering a package of, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's hand the bombs. Trucks. Wait, they're still making those? Oh. Uh, I gotta find the fucking lyrics. I'm clicking on the fucking website. I need to verify that it's not only... <laughs> okay, I was expecting them to just fucking ram that tree down. So Santa <laughs> yeah. off I like the, I like the green screen fireman. Like... You look like sight map. Damn, these are expensive trucks. Yeah, and they're back and they're better than ever. Okay. They're fucking made out of gold. Oh, wait, why are there more? Oh my god, there's so many commercials. Yes. Yeah, it's been going for a long time because the Hess truck's back and it's when better than ever. When will he leave? When was the last it's set? so dope, bro. It's so dope. It's so dope? This does bro, not I appear they had to be. A motor boot. They had a fucking motorbike. He's and right. To be honest, though, they they do got an extendable ladder. Yo, I had Hess trucks, and they were fucking sick, dude. Fuck yeah, brother. Oh, oh my shit. god, the whole thing was so much longer. I had like a Hess like uh, like you cement know, mixer or some bullshit when I was a kid. It was the sickest. It spun and stuff. I used to put stuff in it, and it used to go around like a washing machine. We're like three and a half, almost four minutes into this, and uh, we've been talking about Hess trucks. Call it Cthulhu. Yeah, but you know we're back in it now. <laughs> but now this is this is what the people come here to see. They don't come here to see Cthulhu. They come here to hear wait, a bunch of filth, slime, and shit spewing hey, out of our second. dog the, mouths. The campaign is just wait, a loose. Where is Cthulhu? We keep talking about this guy. We never we're see him. him. Hold yeah, on, I'll call him. Call this. I'll call he him. Won't pick up. I'll call him. Uh, hey, Cthulhu! Ah! <laughs> oh, did he answer? Oh, fucking finally. Alright, I'm taking over. <laughs> hey, pick up the phone. <laughs> last time... Was that? <laughs> last time... <laughs> this is a bunch of jarble. You just told you. Last time on Call of Cthulhu... Uh... In, in the days of... Ancient days of yore... Uh... <laughs> Half of the, uh, well, not half, uh, most of the investigators went to the town of Clare Melford to investigate the hill known as Springer Mound, where strange, terrible rituals held by uh, the cult associated with Alexander Roby were uh, said to have been performed. Uh, they 
got into a little, little bit of a scrap, a bit of a scrap with the uh, the innkeeper, mm -hmm. uh, who vehemently denied uh, his role in the midnight bludgeoning of Bronson, uh, and then uh, spent a night out in the cold a little bit, except Bronson, who was cozy and warm, because oh, yeah. Bronson, as we all know, and has been rigorously documented, is a <laughs> piece of shit who's done everything wrong imaginable and should be fed to the hounds. Yeah, an awful person, guys. <laughs> Just waiting for the right time. This is, I mean, this is, this is well laid out stuff. It um, writes itself. The next day, they went to Springer Mound, found uh, the knocked over ritual stones, and were like, ooh, this sure is something. Hey, is that the farmer? It was. And he shot a shotgun at the stones, bringing down monstroids, which were then uh, agitated and went into a attack frenzy. Everybody managed to get away, except for the farmer, who was murdered. Um, and then, realizing, well, we probably shouldn't go back to that fucking hill, uh, decided to uh, stop in at the farmer's house, presumably to, you know, go through his drawers, sleep with his wife... Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> but, but you were hoping so, he would. It looks like the farmer picked the wrong hill to die on. That's what Where I named the episode. The <laughs> That's the name of the episode. The name the name of the we watched the episode. <laughs> you, <laughs> you fool, you boob. We finally got him on plagiarism. We Lock him got away. him on plagiarism. <laughs> clap this motherfucker in irons. <laughs> <laughs> this was all a setup. I mean, yes. Zulu. This was our dream. <laughs> this is what it's all been for. We're done. Let's go home, guys. We got him. This was all just Fucking... a sting. <laughs> this was the honeypot. We did it. <laughs> uh, they went to the house where suddenly the innkeeper uh, showed his face, uh, promptly vindicated Bronson, and then uh, did some spooky wiggling of his fingers after which William emptied his skull. Uh, to everyone's great surprise, police! And they leapt out of the house from where they had been in hiding, not expecting things to escalate to violence <laughs> quite so quickly, uh, and took the party into custody. But while they were driving away, the rats burst forth from what seemed like under the seats and the glove box and all over the place, attacking the cop and forcing him to crash. And when everyone else <coughs> came to, the rats were gone, <coughs> and the cop had clearly not been wearing his seatbelt because he was <coughs> on the hood. The investigators then fled the scene of the crime, Stole the innkeeper's car for a bit of poetic irony. Mm -hmm. And then... Brrr, away from Claire Melford as fast as humanly fucking possible. Does that make the cop a hood rat? I punch back fast, baby. <laughs> well, Meanwhile, in the hospital! <laughs> <laughs> we answered the question, do pigs fly? They don't. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed. Uh, myth <laughs> confirmed. No, myth debunked. Oh no, it's myth confirmed. Pigs but can't fly. It. But the but the myth is that they can fly. No, it's when pigs fly. I don't think know? there's a fucking myth about pigs flying. This is Busted. all good. This is because this is a disaster. When, meanwhile, in the hospital. <laughs> You know pigs got teeth, bro? I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Anker is fucking dying. I can't believe And Hans, said. Hans was holding his hand and kissing his boo-boos. And being a, a good, noble friend. Uh, still snacking on some finger sandwiches that he had stuffed his pockets full of. Not actual fingers. Not actual fingers, no. Bro, Just Hans, not how okay. But I hear those are valid to eat. Yeah. Hon Unker asked Hans to smuggle his gun in for protection, but Hans instead put in that space finger sandwiches. <laughs> and, and that's then why he's dead. When Unker said, 
can I please have my gun in case of trouble? He said, no, but what you can have is a delicious and nutritious treat. <laughs> if I had thought to Can't shove those finger sandwiches in the bad man's mouth, he would have instantly been like, oh my god, these are delicious. Where'd you get these? The murderous uh, Combs. Uh, do you guys know his first name? Uh, Debra. It's Debra. Drebra. I, we might. Uh, I, I, I just didn't remember, which uh, is why I hesitated and then just said his last name. I don't, I don't remember. We can know his we first name. Let me try and search the thing. You might have, it doesn't matter. If you find it, then you know his first name. But Combs Rod. came into the, uh, hospital room menacing them and forcing them to choose between one or the other who he was going to execute for you uh, going where you don't belong. They decided that they didn't like that choice and attacked him, after which point he made the decision himself, slitting the throat of Hans Nusverkaufer. And departing into the night. And Anker had a strange vision that night, or at least during the period of time in which he was unconscious, and awoke to find the police removing the body of Hans. The world forever changed. Where we pick up? The crew, the boys, mm -hmm. are driving back to London uh, with a great amount of speed. And Anker is laid up in the hospital bed, still dazed from being beaten within an inch of his life while already suffering from a vicious gut shot. That's life. All right. So, we're, we're just driving back, I don't know how close are we to the hospital? You're you're driving from a village a ways north of the city, so it's going to take you a good couple hours to get back. And I forget, did we get our shit back, or was it only, like, we, we had nothing? You didn't get your, um, your weapons back. Okay. Oh, yeah, because we, like, we looted the cops' shit. Yeah. Which, and he had what? Bronson's baseball bat. Mm hmm. Is no more. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. He's doomed. I think he. I think the cop had two pistols. He had. He had weapons. I know for that. I just don't remember what. I. He had a pistol and I gave it to you. Yeah, I remember that I got one of his two weapons. Anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter. It All right. right. You're right. All right, so should we... What time is it? At this point, it's probably... Oof, I want to say like three in the afternoon. Okay, all right. All right, now here, here's my plan. I figure we go mm -hmm. and pick up some weapons or something at a store, you know? I'm going to get armed, I see. Yeah, and then we go pick up Anker and Hans. Those that make sense. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, it, it feels like a millennia ago. I remember uh, what I was going to do last time is see if the you know the, the boys back home might have any fucking advice on how to deal with this because shit's gone south real quick. You know, send over a little little beep beep telegram, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little beep beep telegram. You get it, Joseph. <laughs> I also really gotta visit a doctor or something. I'm still not feeling so well. No, you're fine. I got I got fucked up real bad and I'm, you know, strong as a mule that's about to die. Put down cause it's is that when I shoot your legs or something? No, you, you don't. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. They don't kill the horse. They they kneecap it. 
<laughs> shoot the other legs. I mean, Listen. me capping a horse is the same thing as killing it, just it takes longer. It's true. <laughs> there we go, now he's balanced. Never, <laughs> never put fucking the idea this, is this man you... in charge of an equestrian farm. He's going to fucking go around shooting the horses in the fucking knees and laughing at them as they wither. <laughs> See, no, 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 no. The idea oh, is that no. the strong ones will be able to, yeah. like, you know, grow new legs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. If any one horse manages to survive having his D- legs blown half by horse. a shotgun, we breed that horse. That is the god horse. <laughs> my favorite thing. My favorite thing about this is horses physically cannot live with three legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no! no. It's not That's one why you gotta shoot him. <laughs> it's gonna. Ha- it's gonna have no knees left, and if it survives <laughs> that, it'll turn into like a little worm, little yeah, worm shaped, a horse shaped worm. It'll Any horse with salt will grow wings in response to the trauma. <laughs> and human well, arms. We're gonna build a wheelchair for this horse. We're gonna build a better horse. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the shop. Alright. You drive until you find a store that sells firearms. Uh, give me a navigate. Okay. He also he also clearly has baseball bats there too while he's at it. Yeah. In Britain. They got, they the got shop what are you trying to say? I, I bet they would have like cricket well, bats or some shit. The they ain't got baseball bats. <sighs> they got Shaun of the Dead references. Nowhere in the entirety of the UK is there a single baseball <laughs> it, When That's you bring a baseball bat over the border, it flattens into a cricket bat. Of its own oh, volition. Alright, let's see here. I got, I got six. Dang, bro. I don't think that's an extreme. No, no Brandon, just buy this. No, no, that's disgusting. Get that out of here. You didn't want this the kookaburra rampage for two hundred and nine dollars. Kookaburra rampage, brother. Disgusting. Nine dollars. How dare you? It's just cricket. How <laughs> fucking dare you bring that up? It's just you need cricket. Need American made, brother. Don't sport, you're silly. Well, you're gonna have a lot of trouble being as you're in the United Kingdom, Bronson. All right, guys, I have to go home. Would you get I'm on sorry. that navigate while I was making fun of Brandon? I got a normal. Normal. <laughs> Not Bronson. You. Um, <laughs> the real person. Because that's what I think we're missing. We've talked about what a problem Bronson is, but we need to talk about what a problem Brandon is, because he sucks. <laughs> Hey, hey, try hard. Yeah. I love you. Thanks, bro. I like that guy. Oh, he made a raspberry. That's pretty rude. I kind of um, like those, you know. It takes Rats, you a little while to find the gun store. They're not. It's not quite America in terms of selling firearms willy nilly. McGilly. It's the English version of David Buster's. Well, do you even, uh, you got a joke for us? <laughs> Don't cut me off while I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're gonna find the ice cream store. I I don't I don't fucking know. I don't have a joke. <laughs> I can't no, think I of anything. Neither. No one has a joke. Not anymore. Not in this economy. Bro, we don't laugh. All right, we don't, we don't make jokes here. We don't. We aren't clowns. We're just here to have a. Bro, I'm a certified... Serious RP only. Bro, you laugh? Bro, that's kind of (laughs) pathetic, actually. (laughs) Um, So, you enter into uh, a store called uh, Rooty and Shooty. (laughs) Fuck off! (laughs) And there you see... uh, You can't keep getting away with it. (laughs) And, uh, an older man who says, Hello there, I'm Rutenberg Shooty, and I have, gu- <laughs> I have guns to sell. What sort of guns are you looking for today? Uh, alright. Do you also right. have a soda fountain? Do I oh, have can, a hot? I want root beer. 
I don't have any root beer. All I've got are things which you can point at a man and he will die after you pull a trigger and a hot piece of lead flies out at a great speed. So like Canar. You don't have root beer, but you have Canar. You're not even here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can I get... Uh, he goes up the... to the... Can I get the fucking, uh... Borger. <laughs> Cheese <laughs> Borger. I'm afraid we don't sell food, sir, but we do have things <laughs> what you can uh, pull on a little trigger and it'll go bang and then somebody a great, quite a long distance away will perish. Damn, that sounds neat. Uh, yeah, can I just get, you know, a 45 revolver? I'm afraid we don't have those. Oh, that's not good. Oh, what you got? really? We've only Does got British-made guns. I, okay, well, I mean... Does he have the menu printed on the well, something that does it? <laughs> the Enfield. Do you have the British 45 Wait, Yeah, do you got I have a... I have a... Uh, the calibers are different. Eh, uh, fuck it. I guess I probably have a 45. I don't, uh... Well, yeah. <laughs> probably shit. Do you have a license? Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Wait, I thought it wasn't that, doing that. Yeah, they didn't I thought it wasn't that time. That. Oh, they fucking did. I'm did sitting they? right here on firearms regulation in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Page on the internet. Time. Can I pay you to get a license like right now? Oh, I'm afraid that <laughs> won't be uh, something that you could do. You could apply to your local constabulatory with a, uh, a reason that you need a firearm, and I would okay. be more than happy. They'd be more than happy to oblige, no doubt. Will that all take right, like a day or? Okay, alright, yeah, like, how, how long is it going to take? Oh, I don't know. Are you a citizen? Uh, no, I'm busy. Oh, I'm afraid it's going to be quite difficult to obtain a license. Alright, well, thank you for your time, sir. You got a baseball bat here? What? I, I've walked out. What? Is that so strange? <laughs> what did you, you say? Know. A baseball bat. What? Right, <sighs> I'm certainly not going to sell any guns to you. I was told not to sell any uh, weapons to somebody who's of an unsound mind. Uh, would make me liable to three months imprisonment. Wow, look at this man reading. <laughs> <laughs> three months. Hard labor. You guys got any knives? Do we have any knives? Do I need a license for that? Of course Butter not. Knife? We've got all sorts of knives. You can buy as many knives as you like. We'll give them out for free. There's absolutely nothing wrong with owning a large knife. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's great. Especially some sort of knife you might use against Wait. the undead. Wait, I run back in there. I run back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I heard y'all you sell Free like knives. Of course, course we do. Do. this one knives? here is called the Did Mim say Sahis. Knife? <laughs> uh yeah, can I get a big knife? Can I get a big <laughs> knife? <laughs> What's the biggest knife you got? Well we yeah, have this it. here Explorer's Machete. Yeah, that's what I call oh, Excalibur. Wow. I call it I call it a machete. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> nice. How, how much you want for it? Well, I'll find out in just a moment's time. Wait, oh, okay. Sorry, my you. eyes are going. I'm finding it difficult to read the tag Where are you going? on, he on has, this. Like, the, the... Yeah, I printed out in Do you accept coupons? Flipping through it as he goes along, like, yeah, I... this Hold on, let me find it. Why it costs four dollars. <laughs> I got that right here. I and bucks. here's a machete. You can, anybody, uh, and I just want it to be known: <laughs> anybody with four dollars can buy a machete and use it to their heart's content. We don't care. <laughs> I buy a machete. <laughs> well, here you are, sir. Your very own machete for four dollars. machete. It's time well, to restock the arsenal. <laughs> Wait, you got any blunt I weapons? Want to become machete. Do I have a blunt weapon? Mm-hmm. You uh, don't want yes. a machete. Take a puff of this. I just want to know. Would you like to purchase a kosh? A what? A kosh. A blackjack. Oh, shit, get one. Get one. A, a blackjack. Yeah. Get one. 
A life that's... preserver, as some like to call it. <laughs> well, that sounds kind of neat. Two dollars, and you can have this heavy, blunt object that you could use to stove a man's skull in. Not a gun, but you can have this giant club for two dollars. <laughs> Just remember, no matter wow. how many blackjacks we buy, we can't replace the one we lost. What a deal! Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a joke? <laughs> He's talking about the cat. Half, half the party that knows what's cool. happening, and half the party doesn't. <laughs> what do you mean? One person in the party running. knows because Bronson's there with you, and then Anker's not. Well, oh no! no Wait, no, Anker wasn't there. even there! It's just Bronson! No, Felix was there. Felix was there. Yeah, Felix and Bronson Felix are the only ones it. who know. Yeah, so Felix, Felix said, said it. it. <laughs> Bronson so starts to openly weep in the store, and no one knows why. Is he okay? <laughs> oh, I'll take care of you. He's a sensitive soul. Oh. I'll take it. He feels very strongly about capping people's knees in. Here you are. Here's a blackjack. Use that wisely. And by wisely, I mean use it to hurt or maim someone. Perhaps kill. <laughs> Uh, thank Use you. Use it judiciously. Mm, yes, yes, that's very good uh, choice of words. What? Hmm? What? Did you not? Did you understand what him? What did he say? Welcome to England. <laughs> <laughs> did you understand him? Is our country's motto. <laughs> the answer is always no, but we're gonna act like we did anyway. You should see my my cousin Edwin. He's from uh, 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 fucking Belfast, and he's impossible to understand. Okay, goodbye. He sounds like this. How is, how is he making that sound? Like, <laughs> don't don't you dare! I'll buy a bully club. Hey, you are. Here's a blackjack for you. Two dollars. Two dollars. <sighs> Now you're all ready to go out and cause mayhem, but not with firearms, only with these huge, deadly <laughs> instruments that I've p I've sold you for an extremely small amount of money. Why do you keep saying that over and over again? What do you mean? <laughs> I... Is there a bomb in this flashback, <laughs> sir? <laughs> 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 oh, Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> keep oh, it down, know. Phoebe. <laughs> Poochie, poochie, poochie. <laughs> the girls are fighting. That reminds me of when the spider was barking in... <laughs> in Syndro. <laughs> no, don't talk about the phantom pooter. No, there was a barking spider! <laughs> you know what a barking spider... Oh, Jesus you know Christ. Means? That's not what I meant, but <laughs> there was an actual spider, the animal, barking. <sighs> All right, that's everything. That's, we're going to get out of here. Well, goodbye. If you, uh, you can leave by that door right there. He points to the All only right. door. Yeah, we're going to head out that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, right. I recommend you don't choose the other exits. That's the I safe have, one. I have another question. He's got a question. Buy ammo without a license? How does the law work? Does he, the you law see work? him pull out like this long scroll and he just starts like rolling through it? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, my. Well, I don't see anything here that says you can't purchase ammunition, so I don't give a shit. How much? What sort of ammunition would you like and how much? What was uh, a cop's gun? What? What did you. Uh, you go ahead. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was a 38. Oh, uh, it prob. I didn't put it. I had it in my sheet, but then I took it because you took it. Does I... anyone remember how much damage it does? It does uh, what? 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 No, I don't think it was a 38. 38. I thought 38. it was. I don't remember. Uh, I have the sheet right here. Hold it on. is 1d10. Yeah. 15 yards. <laughs> right. Well, then, yeah, can we get some 38 ammo? And you can get a box of 50 for $17. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Do you have mace spray? That 
Ooh. is in the modern section of the yeah. weapons It says 1920s table. right here. It says 1920s right here, though. Check your uh, fucking eyes. It literally... Goodness. Are you looking at the live wire? It says it right here in the sheet. It does say 1920s. No, I don't have any mace spray. Why are you like... Spray looks fucking OP though. Yeah, you'd stun someone. It's done 2d10 minutes. <laughs> Although I don't know how long the round actually is. So. I'm pretty sure when you mace somebody, they don't just fall down and lie prone for 20 minutes. So. Well, it's right, 2d10. Yeah. It could be anywhere from 2 to 20. I suppose. Depending on how. I do have an, an old uh, flintlock pistol if anybody is interested. I buy that without a license? Yes. What? Why? I'm just fucking with you. I just wanted oh. to talk about the flintlock I have. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't... Are you done? Yep, thank you. We're leaving again. Goodbye, thank stuff. you for the business. Make sure to hurt people. Goodbye. But okay. I don't want to hurt Who people. should I hurt? Alright, let's get to the hospital. Whoever you like. <laughs> Ideally, somebody wow. different from you. A free pass! This is Britain. We like to hurt people who look different from us. He oh. says that, and then we, like, look at him for a good minute. There's, like, a long minute of silence. He's like, no, except for me. Except for me. I'm British. If I were Irish, you would be well within your rights to cut off my oh, head. That's how that works. Yeah. I mean... Or something else. Wait, I mean I'm English. British yeah, it doesn't work. Alright, go! Okay, bye. This scene has gone on okay, too bye. long. Yeah. Okay, bye. You guys depart the store and get back into your uh, stolen car. Mm-hmm. With your... With fucking a couple of machetes and blackjacks. Ready to run at people at great speed and whack them good. Bro, I am so ready. Just, dude, just hang out the car window with your machete in hand and wait. Just spinning it slowly <laughs> like you're a fucking character from the, the Warriors city. or something. As we drive into the city, everybody get out your melee weapon just hang it out the windows. Next time we see a <laughs> giant monster... Like, Slap it on the side of the car. Clang, yeah. clang, 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 clang. <laughs> Yay. It's like... Hitting mailboxes, oh, instead of mailboxes, it's people's necks. Come out to play! Alright, hospital. Hospital. And you drive backwards. <laughs> backwards. You drive <laughs> back towards London. I don't know why I said words there. Make a drive auto with two penalty dice. <laughs> you drive back to London. Uh, as you're. I'll probably ditch car before we get yeah. to the city. Okay, you're gonna ditch the car before you get there? Uh, I would assume so. How yeah, far outside gonna... the city? Uh, oh, hmm. I don't know. Felix, you're a criminal. How far should we ditch this thing? What? You know. The car that we stole. You know, we, we stole a car, killed a man. Like, how far out should, like, you know, where do you oh, dump the car? Good. Like, what's the... Um... Dump it somewhere where yeah. you normally park cars, like parking lot. Oh, okay, that's, that's a good idea. Yep. Alright, to park it in the parking lot, <laughs> in the hospital parking lot, I guess. Uh, well, not the hospital the right, parking lot. Not the okay. hospital. Yeah, yeah like. A, that, that's definitely bad, actually. That's an awful idea. Yeah. yeah, park it in the hospital. You should park it outside of the city because they will probably be looking for a stolen car. Because we stole it from cops. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait whose car is this? This is like, the aim park, car. Park, oh, park yeah, they're out, definitely park it out, gonna look for that. Yeah, park it outside, like... There's only one bar in this town, isn't there? <laughs> I highly doubt that. that. No, we're in England, like London. Well, you're, you've left the town. You're driving back towards London. Yeah, yeah just park it in some nowhere pub. Inside the pub. Inside the pub, just full speed, foot ramming on the pedal. Speed. Ah, ramming that speed. Ramming speed. 
you know, I sure love enjoying a nice pint of uh, period-appropriate English drink. I hope no one drives a car in this bar and kills me instantly. Oh no! It has occurred! And he launches into the air, and then he hears a voice saying, You've been transported into a magical <laughs> video game world! Oh no. Oh no, not as fine. I didn't know we were idiot. in a truck. English we a convenience gentleman. store. <laughs> At night. At night. At night. Even though there were no lights a second ago. Jesus fucking Christ. Calm the fuck down. Hold on, Someone's that... throwing bricks around my dorm area. Where's that fucking image I like? Hold up. I just want to pose Bro, that. Because it made me think of it. Bro, you an guys. <laughs> 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 That's good. Ready. I thought my life was a tragedy, but then I realized it's an isekai. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, I thought my title, life was a actually. cringe compilation. They'd make that a title. Now I know it's a bath. <laughs> now I know it's an isekai. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit by a bat taxi, and when I woke up, I was the society people lived in. Look at his groove. All right, all right, come on. There's Sorry, um, you don't have to drive too much farther to find a shitty side-of-the-road, hole-in-the-wall pub. There's about 4,000 per square feet in this part of, uh, in this part of Britain. And you, uh, park it in the parking lot, exit swiftly, machetes in hand. <laughs> Remember, I didn't need any license for that. Over your heads. <laughs> Howling like monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> and then you all go to prism. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, what? what? We you... are the reason why there are knife laws in Great Britain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's soon to be true, no doubt. Um, <laughs> so, you... Are are you just walking the rest of the way, or...? Yeah. Right, well, you know, no, we'll get a like a little taxi cab thing. Oh, taxi. Okay, and you wait by the side of the road for a while. Uh, you don't see any taxis. Man, aren't we at the pub now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. This is nineteen. This is nineteen twenty-nine, fella. If people are drunk, they don't call a taxi. They drive home. But that's just all right. We look around rude. for the nearest drunk right, guy. Let's just steal another car. Don't do that. I mean, we could offer to give a drunk guy a ride home and then just be like, "Everybody, yeah, take the your car." Shit out of him with our new weapons. <laughs> Maybe kill him. Okay, just fine. Let's just fucking. <laughs> we're walking. We're walking. All right, we're getting progress done. All right, we're walking. Bloodlust. Walking right. to the hospital. You start walking. Slowly but surely. Extremely slowly. I can hear very little due to the scream of the furnace. Do you need me to scream? No. I sure don't. But. <laughs> oh, it just got louder. It just got louder. Um. We're in that part of the year again, I guess. Wah. Maybe about 30 minutes into walking, you can see the sun is set. It's getting dark. You've seen, like, a couple of cars go by here and there. Wow. And you're just trudging, and it's getting colder and colder. All right, well, how, how much farther? You said outside the city, so you've got a little ways to go. Oh, yeah, you're right. Another half hour. Another half hour. And then you can see you're coming up on the city. And it is freezing out. You guys are, like, having to, like... You're walking, like, fucking... 
Okay. Sleeping mummies, essentially. You're like, clutching yourself, trying to stay warm. The There's a lot more traffic here at this time of night. Uh, especially since you're so close to the city. Yeah, uh, cool. And you can see, at one point, uh, a man driving some, some large... Large sort of truck pulls over and leans out and says, Oi, do you fellas need a part of ride? Sure thing. Well, climb on into the back and I'll get you where you need to go. All right, just hop in the back. Have you got any money? Uh oh. God, I got a dollar. You're really quiet, Sophie, which is in unlike you, and it would be a good change if not for the fact that I cannot hear you over the furnace. Oh, I got a dollar. Furnace, you say. I'll take that dollar. Services paid for services rendered. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, Did you get in the, the car? <laughs> get in! Sir, Hurry! <laughs> they have why to catch making, as he's driving. Uh, sir, why are you making those noises? <laughs> I'm not. It's the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm developmentally disabled. <laughs> you're up so fucking Wait a second, dead. you're alive. <laughs> That's how disabled he is. That was cold, no, no, no. Um, My newest character is just me. <laughs> Which is how why he had you? to add that caveat about being developmentally disabled. <laughs> it's all in character. It's all in character. My soft spot is huge. <laughs> it's my, all of my bones, actually. <laughs> Here we have an x-ray view. Of KMS's brain, and it's just like a like a beach I ball, just essentially. Get it <laughs> Perfectly <laughs> smooth. Beach ball. It's very squishy, dude. It's like Play-Doh. Don't need it. Nick, you have to relax. We're only forty-two minutes in. Man, look. <laughs> all right, we hardly ever get anything done. All right, I just want to go to the hospital. That's all I want to do. Don't miss what progress. <laughs> you drove back to the city. <laughs> you walked somewhere, and you've spoken to someone. For a few seconds. Pretty good. You're right. That is enough progress for tonight. See you guys in a month. Alright, fuck <laughs> off. See ya. We're going home. What? I'm going home. Home? Go to the I'm hospital. I'm going home. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't do that, actually. See ya. <laughs> Were you like choking up trying to do that fucking choke? Were you choking yourself off over that? This is the worst session we've ever Stop done. that. You can't say that. You cannot say that. Uh, so, you arrive in London and... At this point, it's... I mean, you're ticking deeper into the night. It's probably like... Past seven. Is it now? Yeah. And, um... Uh, my guys on the back of the truck, right? Hey. Yeah, you guys are just sort of riding in the back. Woo! Can I see? You can see. It's open. Yeah. I look around. I stick my head out the window. You see... London! London! The big city. The Big Apple, baby! The big city. city that never sleeps. <laughs> we finally made it. Oi! It's Seven Bong! Where's the big bong? Seven Bong? <sighs> Did we make it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As he looks up how many guys to spawn in the fuck bed. Just fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's seven and uh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay. Hey, the work. recording has started again. Everything is fine. Nothing, uh, nothing occurred uh, during the interim. <coughs> uh, here we are. So, you guys arrive at the hospital. And they're <laughs> let out of the back of the truck, and the guy leans out, and he says, Boy. Bye. And then he, he Bye. drives Bye. very slowly away. Bye. And he drove at such a reduced rate of speed that it's uh, it's about eight by the time you've now arrived here at the hospital. All right, let's get our boys. Get. All right, you head into the hospital, and as you uh, head up the stairs, you can see there's a number of uh, policemen milling about, uh, which seems a little odd. Seems out of the ordinary, especially uh, last couple of times you've been here. Maybe we shouldn't go in game. You know about us, boys. You keep going upstairs. And uh, you head to the floor that uh, Anker and Hans were staying on. And then you can see down at the end of the hall... What does this even say, Caleb? I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Each word is confined to its own line. It's all very... Oh, I see. I out. see. <sighs> We're all good people. Um, <laughs> so, you can see down at the end of the hall, the room that Anker and Hans were staying in is taped off with police tape. And there are a number of cops outside it. Oh, that's not that's not good. I, I walk up to one of the policemen. Hey, excuse over, me, he was sir. Like, hey, excuse me, this is a crime oh, scene. You're gonna have oh. to step back, sir. Oh, okay. Crime. Step back a little bit. There was a crime here. What crime? Yeah, our friends were staying in that room. Were they all right? Tell them stuff first. Do you know the names of your friends? Uh, Anker and Hans. Like, one was a. I don't know what the other one was, but I know that one was German. That much was. Anker and Hans. Uh, Hans. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gilhoof has been moved to another room on the fourth floor on account Indeed. of uh, the incident that transpired here last night. Oh, uh, where's Hans? I'm sorry to inform you that uh, Mr. Noosefakalfa has is Wait, deceased. <laughs> oh. What? what? There was a there was a oh. something of a break in uh, last night. Uh, uh, two doctors were uh, badly injured, and uh, Mr. Gilhoof and Mr. Nusfakalfa's room uh, was broken into by an unknown assailant, who uh, regrettably uh, took the life of Mr. Nusfakalfa. Huh. Uh, Mr. Gilhoof was injured in the altercation, but is, uh, last I checked, in stable condition. Uh, has not been responsive to uh, questioning at the moment, but we're hoping uh, tomorrow, perhaps. Could we go see him? Um... I might still be an officer with him, but uh, yeah, he's a uh, uh, room four o five, I believe. Alrighty, thank you for your time, officer. Might might I ask you a question while I've got you here? Yeah, sure. Would you have any uh, suspicion, perhaps, of anybody who might have had a grudge against uh, Mr. Galoof and Mr. Nusfakalfa, and might have cause to visit them in this violent manner? Uh, date, uh, hmm. As far as we hmm. know, nothing was stolen, which is, uh, uh, wasn't much to steal, of course, but normally they're looking for, uh, sell some medical supplies or something, but a targeted attack on uh, a patient and a patient's uh, friend is, uh, not typical. 
I, uh, I quickly looked back at the others as if asking, should I fucking tell him or no? And I'm uh, awaiting a quick nod. Quick uh, nod or a uh, anything. Uh, I, I, I personally shake my head. Okay, alright. Uh, nah, I mean, I'm not really sure. Make a fast talk. There it is. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> but are, come on. <laughs> it's a lie! <laughs> yeah. Next time. You're lying to the face of the police. You the police can look at your face. They see your cheekbones. How do you know I'm lying, officer? <laughs> they look at the shape of your skull and they think, what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust them. You were born this way? <laughs> you lie to me? Three. Slavic blood, Three? Don't... Normal. <laughs> Three is a normal. <laughs> Yeah, my okay. fast talk is default. Wowie. Too honest. Damn, bro. Wait, what's your persuade? Isn't it high? Who's... My persuade? He did fast talk. My persuade lies. is 10. Oh, oh I thought I you could, went... I could intimidate. I could scare the shit out of him, but, you know, I don't That's really maybe know a bad move. Yeah. I thought you went that route. Never mind. One thing no. you always want to do is make a policeman feel threatened. Yes. Yeah, they love yeah. that. That's Kids out there at home. <laughs> if you're... No. Uh, Kids at home. Kids at home. Remember the acronym ACAB. All no. cops are no. bastards. Stop. It's true. It's true. <laughs> we can't. We can't teach the children. If you want to know more about the police, please play the song "Police Truck" by the Dead Kennedys on an <laughs> infinite loop. Uh. Fuck the police. Free Hong Kong. From the underground. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Something something brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm pretty sure you just said fuck them that believes. That's kind of fucked up, gonna be honest. Fuck Belize, coming straight from the underground. <laughs> fuck, fuck the band, the police. Fuck the Belize. Fuck the band, the police. Yeah. Well, they make message in a bottle. Fuck message in a bottle. <laughs> fuck that. Oh, Roxanne's actually, pretty good. And not so close to me. No, man. Okay, so. Um, he sort of nods at you, and he says, All right, well, if, uh, if you think of anything, uh, the, uh, presiding officer at this time is, uh, or the, the presiding detective, anyways, is, uh... Fuck. Is it Taylor? <laughs> is it that guy? Wait, no, well, not Taylor. Fuck, that was the guy that we, uh... Wait, was it him? God damn it. Or is it a different inspector this time? Grayler. I thought Taylor was the one we talked about for the uh, the, the, the past murder. Fuck. Or... In Detective Inspector Andrew Taylor. Aha! And he hands you a little card. Wait a second, that would be okay then, because I think, because last time we talked to him we said we were down with like sharing info but yeah but then it's also like how, how i forgot the name of the bad guy you know what what's he got his stinky fingers in Did, does he have them in the police got them in his bottle i don't know stinky finger <laughs> he's fine stinky that's the only reason i was hesitating to tell the no, it's understandable. We didn't know who was in charge it really here either. We don't know how far this corruption goes. Oh, the way to the right. Damn, the Damn it, you can't do that. Damn. It's right, not anymore. Damn. So you're gonna go see your friend or what? Yep, thank you. <laughs> so, you guys depart the scene of the crime. Uh, machetes tucked into your coat pockets. Machete. <laughs> and, uh, ascend the stairs to the fourth floor, where you walk briskly to room 405, where you can see there is, uh, a cop standing outside, leaning against the wall, like, sort of, like, just, just chilling there. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, Hello there. Uh, oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, we're trying to be careful about visitors at the moment. Uh, surely you've heard at this point uh, there's been something of a an incident. Yeah. yeah. Might I um, might I inquire what business you have here? 
Uh, well, that's one of our friends in there. One of your friends, eh? Yeah, we knew. And what are uh, your names? He pulls out a little notebook. Uh, uh, uh my name. Yeah, I mean, they already got their fucking names. I'll tell them my name too. I don't I mean, give a shit. Comply, just let it. Just, you know, I, my more. name's William Pringleer. My name is Jeremiah Pringler. <laughs> Pringleer and Pringler, eh? Right? And yeah, Marty. It was. It was real. Of... It was real funny coincidence when we became business partners. I'm just going to make a roll here, real quick. <laughs> oh. Is that a firearm roll? <laughs> he just sort of like blinks at you and he says, well, that is funny. <laughs> and uh, your name? <laughs> to Bronson. Uh, Bronson. <laughs> uh, is your first name Osser? Hmm? Huh? Sorry, young man, did you uh, say your name? I was distracted by meme posting by HK. It's fine, I was looking at it too. Um, <laughs> uh, it's Bronson. Bronson. Macker. Macker, <laughs> excellent. He's ashamed of his last name. And are you there, skinny fella? Is that me? Hello. Is that me? That's, is that me? Oh, you compliment me. My name is Josef Schmidt. Why do you like that? Josef Schmidt. Because I'm German. You are? Yes. Shut the fuck up. Damn, bro. Schmidt. Um, but he wrote st writes down Josef Schmidt. <laughs> sure. He says, yeah. Alright, um... And you say you know Mr. Gilhoof? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, might I inquire from where? Well, we're business partners from across the states. Business partners in what? The states? Uh, well, what we're doing now is... What are we doing? Oh, yeah. It's a bunch of psychology work. Sorry, psychology it's, it's work? Like... Oh, yeah. interesting. Have you any credentials? I uh, Do I have them on me? They Probably. weren't taken from you. Okay, yeah, then I hand them over to him. He licks them over. This all checks out. And all of you are part of this psychology posse? Yes, yeah, sir. A posse. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a... It's a lot of TV people. For it's nice to have, uh, you know, opinions to share around. You know, thoughts, ideas, brainstorm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make another roll. You're absolutely right. It is excellent to have lots of people around to uh, throw those ears around brainstorm. All right, well, this all checks out. He folds things up and hands it to you. Um, I'm going to have to uh, stand by the door with the door open, but uh, you must understand. But you can you can see him. Uh, so can we go in there and talk to him? Oh, you on. absolutely can. And all he right, opens right. the door and he just sort of stands by the door, like leaning in the door frame, watching you guys. Cool. And you Step inside. head inside, and you can see Anker uh, lying there, uh, hooked up to the IV, a fresh new bandage wrapped around his head. I was gonna say, Felix is going to stay outside the room while everyone else crowds in. Okay. Because we tend to do the that a lot, where we just all crowd into one place. Yeah, Dude, it's funny. fucking seven thing. people barge into one man's office. All right, well, you got, why don't you have enough seats for all of us? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the time where we all crowd into a room and a bomb goes off. Good. <laughs> fucking wiping the party immediately. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Um. <laughs> he starts writing a bomb. You see Anker there. Anker, who looks to be. On a little bit of medication, but he's, uh, he seems to be awake, if a little high. Anker, you're okay. Anker, what happened, buddy? Uh. Uh, you know that guy who shot me? Um, yes. I don't think he ever, like told us but i you know i could you know hazard he yeah, said it was the same fellow oh, so who the policeman can hear us yeah well he's already said it so now 
I know, I'm making sure that Ankur is also where policeman can hear us. I like to imagine that this guy, after Ankur woke up, he managed to get at least some rudimentary details out of him, so he probably has yeah. heard, I feel like I know this guy mm. before. Yeah, I think he shot right. me before, and he came to finish the job. Well, he yeah, didn't that... do a very good job. Well, he... Uh, I mean, he succeeded, just not on Ankur. Well, look, if his, if his goal was out to get Ankur, it's like, you know, still a failure. He's still here. You know, strong as an ox. He's a sickly ox. Yeah, that ox is You, have, you have a weird opinion of livestock. What do you mean? <laughs> don't you run a fast food place? I don't think you got any any like, place to talk they, shit about. They only I serve like cats and bats. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the enemies of rats. I don't do bats eat rats? I don't think they do. No, they harass them. Yeah. They, 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 they don't like them. Similar. They have a similar name. There's an entire McDonald's level level mythos here. <laughs> <laughs> the ad campaigns. Alright. So did he say anything or well, he said he wanted to send a message, and I think he did. And he's got a lot of connections. Yeah. Because he came in dressed as a doctor. I, I turned to the policeman. So, do, do you have any idea how we uh, got in here? Do you say, I overheard someone saying something about some doctors being a little roughed up. Did, is that where he got the outfit from? And to the best of our knowledge, he, um, he took out the two... Uh, doctors on staff during the night shift uh, uh, bludgeoned them and uh, left them in a, uh, a closet took the uh, the coat of one of them to masquerade as a doctor mm -hmm. alright uh Hmm. Right, Mr. Officer, do you have any idea how long it will take before our friends are able to, you know, walk around again? Me? Yeah. Well, like, I'm know, not a doctor. I mean, I've, I assume you've talked to some of those. The uh, I've, stuff. I've seen the doctors, and your friend's in, um, I'm afraid your friend's in pretty bad shape. He's, uh, oh, well, that ain't good. I That's mean, he's, he suffered a pretty severe gunshot wound not too long ago, and... Uh, treatment is not uh, necessarily helped by further abuse in such a state, so... Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Well, do you... Uh, do you mind if, like, a few of us just stay here overnight with them and just keep them company? I would have to clear it with my commanding officer, but... We should go to I'm not entirely place. sure if it would be okay. All right. Well, you must understand. You, we're trying to. Yeah, be oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, this place has uh, got quite a heavy police presence at the moment, so we think we should be able to stop anything. But oh, I'm not even saying we're going to stop anything. We're just here to, you know, keep them company. That's forgive the only me, thing but we're doing. while you seem to be relatively on the level, you are unknown entities to us, and. Leaving you in the room of a man who was just attacked by a knife-wielding lunatic is not high on our list of things to do. Understandable. All right, well then, unless... All right, Anker, well, you take care, buddy. I pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> that was his last breath. He fucking died. Yeah, you hit him right. I had it a few times, and every time I did it, he got wider and wider. Archer's <laughs> body starts ragdolling and uh, clips through the blanket <laughs> and kills. <laughs> it, it, starts, it starts vibrating like it was programmed in Game Brio. <laughs> yeah, it's just making the <laughs> noise. It's, it's, it's like part of his bed, leg is clipped it's through the bed. It's intersecting with the bed. It's fucked up. The bed is now flying around the room. We're dead. He goes, and he just sinks, and his arms start to flop a little bit. 
Imagine if Fallout games had collision had collision damage. <sighs> what a world. <laughs> what a world that would be. What a What a woo. Anyways. Uh, before we leave, I whisper somebody kill him. I can't fucking hear you. Hang on. Yeah, you're somebody still real give quiet. Him a gun so he doesn't get I real we only have one gun, my man. I thought we had two. No. I don't we think so. Machete. It's my machete, though. <laughs> we give the sickly dying man a better. You know I'm right here, right? <laughs> I'm still standing here. Uh, oh. Hello. Do you like a machete? <laughs> I think it's time for you to leave. <laughs> Sounds good. Nice. <laughs> Alright, please. <laughs> Leave the hospital. He sort of glares at you guys as you leave and you see him writing something in his notebook. I go to the doctor and I say, Doctor, my PP hurt. Uh, I kill Sovi. (laughs) (laughs) The psychology posse hurt. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It appears you have uh, incurable cancer of the entire body and soul. I'm gonna have to execute you right now. I'm gonna go to the Peace! Disease. Basically, (laughs) your baby. He, he, like, he, like, holds <laughs> Joseph's hand in, in compassion. He says, you have cancer of the player, I'm afraid. Damn, but the worst kind. I'm invincible now. <laughs> but yeah, we should heal up. Anyone... That's not how that works. Nick, Nick Fustad is quite a lot. Well, if you, unless, unless you have a major wound. Um, oh. Hey, I'm hurt. Wait, uh, oh, no, I don't got a major. Fuck. I wonder if anyone's ever died at the but same time. I'm real low. Well. Bronson, Bronson, you took chip damage, so you can heal a little more easily. Uh, major yeah, wound boys I, are gonna have trouble. That is, that is chip. How much? How much can I heal? I want to heal up, please, guys. Uh, you can uh see a physician. Walk into the minute clinic. See what they can do. All right, oh minute clinic. Where are you? Uh, you head to a doctor who says. Good God, boy, it looks like you've fallen from a great height. Why, yes, I was... It happens, you know. <laughs> eh, I remember when I was your age, I was climbing in trees like a spider monkey. Now, wait, how old are you? Why, well, I'm 20. Oh, fuck, you're too old, lad. Get a job. What? 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 <laughs> and he uh, starts to starts to heal you. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna bandage you up a little bit. I'm gonna make a medicine roll. Wait, wait. So we can get healed if we don't have a major wound. If you don't have a major wound, you can get a little health. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I need to get checked up on. It's gonna cost you twenty dollars. Oh my god. That's way too much. Ten dollars. Oh my god. Dang. I cry in a corner. I mean, what am I gonna do? Generation abilities. Uh, Bronson, you regain two hit points. Pretty nice. Very much, Bronson. Bandages you up and like uh, supports your wounds and uh, supports uh, your wounds. You know what I mean? He's helping. He, he does a good job. Come on, you can do it. Infect him! Infect him! Thanks, Doc. Uh, can you heal me up too? What happened to you? You got in a bar fight. Bar fight? I remember when I was your age, I was getting into bar fights like a spider monkey. Yeah, y'all have <laughs> your... Uh, you Wait a second. Monkey? How old are you? Sir. Sir, your alcohol over here hits a little bit differently, right? I think my age don't really matter. Oh, he's so shy and embarrassed by it. Aw. And he like winks at you and he says, "Over forty. <laughs> and then he uh, <laughs> starts to bandage you up. Why is he asking the age? He wants to judge you. No, oh, slightly less effective. You get oh, one yeah. hit point. Slightly yeah. less. There's only more really oh, one. Wait a minute. Well, it could have been wait, none. Wait, wait, I could have just wait, failed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I suppose so. None of that shit mattered because I didn't see the little, bit, little, you know, big ol' X by the major wound. Oh. Ha! Idiot. He He's about to heal oh, you over. He says, 
Bloody hell, boy, you better check yourself in. This looks terrible. Oh, You're gonna need some big kisses for that one. And by boy, <laughs> I mean precisely. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely over 40. Uh, it Ooh, <laughs> leaves the room. Sorry, right, let's go back to the fucking... Not the hovel, what's it fucking called? The townhouse. The harbor. Town, townhouse. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Wait, is there a telegram machine there? There's not a town... There's not a telegram machine in the building. In the townhouse? No. no. There's a telephone. We're not there. You can telephone the telegram police. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them the telegram. Wait, yeah, can I- wait, no, no. I don't know how it works. I, I ask someone if there's a nearby telegram machine that I can use at this hour. Um, somebody says, Well, yes, down at the post office, there's a telegram machine that you can use. Oh, uh, thank you. Did you pay the ten dollars to the doctor? I need to get healed. He didn't need to do anything to me. Still got to pay for this checkup. That's Ooh. capitalism. Mm, oh. Kind of Why can't we go back to mercantilism? Uh. All right. I, I, can I give the money to you? Sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> <here we go. laughs> I mean, okay. It's like a chimney sweep. He just runs. <laughs> <laughs> um, he looks like a chimney sweep. <laughs> um, he looks so cool. You head down to the post stuff. office. We can see there is a an older mustachioed man with a uh, a telegram machine, and he says, "So, you're looking to send a telegram, eh?" Y yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. Everybody's always coming in here to sell a telegram. Nobody wants to talk to Norris. They just I mean, want to send Nor a telegram. Norris. What? Norris, calm down. How, how was your day? I'm not Norris. <laughs> Norris is a dear friend of mine. Well, where is Norris? We'll talk to him. He's long dead. So, what would you like to say? <laughs> <laughs> What's the content of the telegram you'd like to send? Uh, I turned to Joseph. So what we should describe, like, you know, yellow sign. Don't think we've mentioned anything by name. Uh, big problem. Yellow sign. Stop. Uh, What's the character like? Yellow fellow. Message yellow fellow. <laughs> yellow stop fellow. Stop. What's the character worth moment? Big problem, yellow sign, stop. Got it? Uh, what do we do? Stop. Is that all? Uh, we, uh, need equipment. Stop. And we're kind of hurt. Stop. But kind of hurt, I mean really, really hurt. Stop. This dog is great. <laughs> 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 the telegram man's not in his best. Way. I like, I like Is there that. anything else after that? Um, <laughs> just do you think we should say anything else, or like you want to like progress we've made? Yeah, it's getting to be a really long telegram. We got we What's got long money, on sir. The telegram. I don't know. Yeah, neither do I. I don't. Yeah. Um. We have what located have we the. So far? I don't the uh. Oh mm. uh, shit! <laughs> don't don't keep that in. Uh. <laughs> How are you typed it? Shit. Uh, we have located. What what were we sent over here to do? <laughs> what to the town? <laughs> or the uh, or just here in general? <laughs> just uh, you know over here, oh, like uh, you know England. Plus violent spooky stuff. Oh, shit. We, yeah, we we have located the spooky stuff. It's far spookier than the invention. <laughs> oh. I think you're supposed to stop the spooky stuff. I think that's. What... I'm just here to record spooky. Anything else? No, sir. Can you read that back to me? <laughs> Big problem. Yellow sign. Stop. 
What do we do? Stop. We need equipment. Stop. And we're kind of hurt. Stop. And by kind of hurt, I mean really, really hurt. Stop. We have located the... We have located the... What were we sent over here to do? What in the town or in general? We have located the spooky stuff. It is far spookier than originally thought. Stop. I think that may be too many words. Okay, so the average telegram in the UK, longer than the average US telegram, of 14.6 words. <laughs> yeah, this is too long, mate. I'm gonna have to send a couple of telegrams. Alright, how much that gonna be? I like it. <laughs> it ends in big problem, yellow sign, what do we do? Uh, we uh, need equipment, stop, and... <laughs> That's where it cuts off. Um, it's gonna cost six pounds a telegram. All right, there you go. I have no more cash. I don't got no more cash. I have no more cash. Wigging your wee. It is far away spookier. I mean, we really scary. We have located the. We have located the. What were we doing? I'm sorry, sir. Just the peculiarity of the machine. <laughs> Fuck it's sweating. He it, 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 it just sort of like brushes some of the dust off the top. You see the 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 oo five thousand. <laughs> This is a disaster. Alright, stop. Chop. Oh, um, stop. <laughs> chop. And who do you want this to be sent to? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Send that across the bar more to a big cheap. 16 <laughs> Pennsylvania <laughs> Avenue. I don't think that's gonna get where you want. 69 Party <laughs> Avenue. That's a reference. <laughs> Combs walks into the room with a fucking machine gun. <laughs> Alright, uh, I, I don't think we ever specified where the exact location was. No, you did. So I just, tell, I just tell him Big Mama's house. <laughs> he stares at you. Sir, I got the money right here. I wouldn't be, you know, paying you. How does he... You want to send you know. it... No, hold on, hold on. You want to send it to Big Mama's house. <laughs> Sir... So if you send it, they'll, it'll get to where it needs to be, I promise. I got the money right here for you. No, but I need to know who to send it to. Yeah, to These wires are not telegraph. magic. Oh, uh, where, where the fuck, where did, where did we say it was going to be located? It's fucking I Boston. I, th I thought we assumed New York. Oh, New York sounds good. All right, New York. Big, Big Mama's house, <laughs> New York. Maybe it'll get there, maybe it won't. He then sends, like, four <laughs> telegrams. Yeah. <sighs> Funny. <sighs> Mostly well behaved. Oh, spooky. <laughs> I'm crying. My fucking <laughs> stomach hurts. <laughs> I just love the pleasure. Well, where we, where we are. We have located in the. We have located in the. <laughs> well, we... I have to pause this recording. This is a fucking train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Wait, hang on. You send the telegrams? Mm hmm. Wait, did you start the recording again? Yes. <laughs> Alright, good. Is and he says, Alright, will that be all? Uh, yes, sir, I think so. Unless y'all want to, like, send any messages. <laughs> Joseph, you want to send anything? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, ooh, that's my dog. Actually. They let you bring your dog to work? That's really cool. It's 1929. Nobody cares. Okay, okay. you gotta say it like that. Alright. 
Go ahead, Joseph. Tell him. Where's his dog? I want to say hello. No, don't hey, fucking Pucci. Joseph. Come on. Hey, Pucci. Is he friendly? He's gonna shoot you. <laughs> the dog? <laughs> of I'm course. speaking in the third person. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to beat you to death. <laughs> um, I I should send a tel a tel telegram, um, saying we have encountered, uh. Probably, what, what, what's a chat? Occult things or something? Yeah, no, we we encountered horrors, hor horrendous monsters horrors. that uh, look worthy of hunting. Uh, stop. We'll look for more solid, like, how to track them and stuff. Stop. Okay. Uh, and that's a big mom. Yeah. Large. She'll get it to the banco. You see, when you mention the bank, he actually seems to recognize who you're talking about. He says, "All right, I'll make sure this gets to the right place." <laughs> Otherwise, he's gonna throw it in the trash afterwards. He's gonna throw all these telegrams. He just was like tapping away. He's like, "These fuckers don't know what I'm doing." He's got a wire just linked up to the trash can. <laughs> just so we get can hear, hear him. As soon as running is like, as soon yeah. as he hits send, <laughs> we're just like, "What's that?" He, he you hear, a, you hear a printer, guessing. the sound of paper fluttering, and then like a, a fucking shredder. shredder starting up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see him like after he sends mine, he goes back through to the other papers. Is like, oh, all right, let me actually. <laughs> oh, I'm just retyping up the other ones just uh, for posterity. Um. <laughs> yeah. Right. Will that be all? Yeah. Yeah. Damn my six dollars. I, uh, I man, don't have any money in my pocket. Broke. In, in takes the six dollars from Joseph. I don't oh. have money. Just takes six dollars. <laughs> Does anyone, Felix, you got money? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Why? No, Can I spend borrow money six bucks? You got any money? You got. I give yeah. him six bucks. Thank you. Thank you. This has been a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that sure was neat. I've never used technology like that before. I don't know if you actually did anything. No, nah, that was all me. What? What? Yeah, all right, let's go back to townhouse. All right. Brown. We return to the townhouse. As we approach the entrance, I look around for a sufficient thing. Make a perception check. Perception, uh, perception check. check. Spot check. hidden. Woo! Woo! It's been a while, fucking... boys. You piece wow. of It's wow. been a while. It's been a while. It's Now it's perception checks. It's been a while. I fail. Uh, you look around. It's pretty dark. It's hard to tell. You don't see anybody. Good enough for me. Keep walking. Alright. You... Enter the townhouse. It is quiet and still and not seemingly harboring any intruders. Ears open. Are you ten feet from your mic tonight? I'm the same place I normally am. It's just I'm finding you really hard to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm not screaming. I have nothing to scream about. I have you on 200 and I can barely hear you. <laughs> Two hundred what? No, I don't have any automatic things on. I don't know. <laughs> um. But yeah. You make it inside, and you're going to bed down for the evening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somebody will take watches. Okay. I'm not assuming like, so somebody's taking watch because I can not watch hear you. order, right? Yeah. Watch order is. Do we have that pen? Shut up! No. Stop. <laughs> um, um. I don't I think we do. Just rotating between my. No, I think Hans. All right. 
Um, so Hansa, I know Anker. I know Anker was one of them, but he's so that's obviously not going to happen. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we're all going to have to do it. Well, we got how many? So it's only three people need four. to do it. So yeah, who has the worst five. spot hidden? They should him. stay up. Sixty-five. Five. I got what forty-two. About, what about him? Him? Bronson? Yeah. Yeah. Eighty-one, brother. How about and Felix? Ely. <laughs> Said hi, boy. Marco, what's your spot head? Oh, am I rolling too? No, no you're just, not yet. Just just, just, they just want to know what people spotted in there because they're doing okay. watches. Oh, I'm on page three of my sheet. Uh, seventy-two. Oh, damn. Uh, it would have been yeah. higher if <laughs> if those fucking Turks hadn't taken your fucking eye. <laughs> True. That's so it's okay. 40, right? Now I see everything, and so I see my truth. 40. So 20. you are going to bed. <laughs> I've never seen more clearly <laughs> okay. than since after I lost my eye. <laughs> Just wait until he starts to actually now, see through the rest. Do the rest do the seeing the, for the me. The truth of the world is elucidated, <laughs> and the world is rats. Those are vampires. More true than you'd ever know. Everybody takes so long. Fuck. <clears throat> what? Anchor. <laughs> Anyways. Funny, um, anyway. So. Bronson, Joseph, and Felix are on watch. Me. I'll change the jam. Yeah. What's this one? Excuse me? Playing the doors, man. Getting a lot of sleeping. mileage out of Silent Hill. Sleeping too. This sounds like music from Silent Hill. Could what? It be? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> this is music from uh, classic survival horror adventure Night Cry. You know what this reminds me of? Nope. That fan, that that story where where the Tim the Toolman Taylor goes to a haunted town. Shut the fuck up. Stop talking now. You're done. You're done. You've concluded your talking part. Both of you are speaking privileges. watches go relatively uneventfully but your dreams are different different than they've been so far something new hang on Okay, but the song bangs. <laughs> it's... Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Bronson. Hmm. You're on a plateau. It's snowy. It's windswept. It's freezing. And you can see up ahead a building. Squat, rectangular imposing nothing but a a solid aperture as opposed to a door just black 
you feel yourself drawn inside into the dark where you can see your somewhere else now you're at the foot of a mountain range the hills are rolling down away from you you see the clouds circling the mountain peaks as you head down the hills through this fog that seems to creep up around you you're somewhere else again you step through the fog and you're on level terrain. You're at the shore of a lake. A black lake that stretches out as far as you can see, but in the distance you swear you can see the lights of a city. And there's somebody next to you on the shore, Bronson. feel their Hello? presence. Do you look? Um, yeah. It's Longbone. Oh. Longbone? What? What do you mean? What? Bronze. What do you What are you doing here? Where are we? What are you doing here? I, I, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Are you dead? I don't know. Are you still dead? Yeah. Maybe I died too then. I told you not to die. I, I just went to sleep and... Really? Yeah. In your sleep? Come on, Bronson. I'll yeah. tell you better than that. At least it's a... I guess it's a peaceful way to go, I suppose. No, you're not dead. Oh. How would, how would you know? When you die, you're gonna die really embarrassingly. Oh. By a monster, I can tell. Oh, well. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh. Hmm. I kind of don't really like it here, honestly. It's nice to be somewhere. Instead of nowhere. How is that going for you? Well, I haven't been able to kick his ass yet. Oh. Maybe, uh, maybe someday. Don't maybe me. Well, you, you will. You will someday. You um, long ago, I, uh, I still haven't told Felix. That whole night. Hmm. Why not? Are you a pussy? Well, hey, come on. I just... I don't know, I was still traumatized for a bit there. And then I just... I don't know, I wanted to find the perfect moment for it. But... We're so busy. It's just... It's just so yeah. much. And I, I, I don't want to... I don't want to... Hurt him for it, but... One of these days, one of you is going to die. Probably you. So, just go up to him and tell him. You know what? You're right, Longbow. Of course I am. I miss you, Longbow. the billowing of cloth behind you like a sheet in a hurricane and you can see 
the long folds of the robes of some immense figure, its face shrouded in shadow. <coughs> There's a dog barking somewhere in the distance. Come on, boy, get, get, get. The girls are fighting again. It's, a, it's an old... <laughs> somewhere a dog barks. There's always that line in every classic American novel. Ooh, spooky. And the figure drifts forward, enveloping first Longbone in its folds. And then you. And there's nothing in there but darkness and stars. Joseph. Yeah. I figured I'd get this one out of the way. <coughs> what are you? Sips. I'm getting stabbed. Oh god. <laughs> you see the same thing that Bronson saw. The plateau. The hills, the mountains, the lake. And you feel someone beside you on the shore. I look. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you see an old woman, kindly, and she says, Joseph. It's me, your dear departed grandmother. <laughs> what? I've come back to visit you. <laughs> Grandma? Joseph, it's been so long. Grandma, why are you, where are we? Oh, devil if I know. It sure is a lovely lake, though, don't you think? Yeah. Would you like some cookies? I brought some. Sh sure. She hands you a cookie. What kind is it? What kind do you like? <laughs> that's, a, that's a big question. Because <laughs> it's that kind. <laughs> okay. Probably chocolate chip. Let's go with that. I know these were your favorite. Oh, thanks, Grandma. How are you doing in school now? I'm uh, I'm out of school. I'm playwriting business hasn't been so great, but um. Oh, but your plays were always so interesting. The characters, I could never do that. You're an excellent writer, Joey. I always said. Uh, not great money, so I'm helping out some other guy. Oh, feh, money. Who needs it when you've got happiness in your heart? You are really mumbling, Joey. It's, it's, uh, maybe my mic's dying, I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, things have, have not been so great. The money situation. Oh, well, don't tell me, don't tell me that, uh, you've hooked up to a sugar daddy. <laughs> Grandma, no! <laughs> I write his books, Grandma. Oh, you write books for, oh, that's much better. I'm that's his... some sort of ghost writer. Yeah. You're not a real ghost, are you dead? Hope not. Are you? Well, it seems you're dead. When did you die, Grandma? When did this happen? I thought you were alive. It was a couple of months ago. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't write that often. It's oh, all right, God. Joey. I always knew, even though you didn't write me that often, you still loved old Gma. 
Chima. It's a grandma. Pretty slick, isn't it? And Joey, know this. Mm -hmm. yeah. It doesn't matter if your plays don't make a million dollars. One day, you're going to change the world with your writing. I know it. I hope so, Grandma. That's Grandma's promise. Come here and give old Granny a kiss. Okay, Grandma. Dude, I can't handle this, man. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Careful. <laughs> and both Joseph oh. and Grandma Smith. Or Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> So I knew it was generic and S. Are enveloped by the folds of that massive robe wearing creature and disappear into the stars. Dude, that hit really hard. Oh. Bro. This hit different. Grandma meetings always hit. <laughs> oh. Anker. Oh. Oh no. In your dreams, you see the plateau, the mountains, the hills, the lake. And there's someone standing beside you. What is it? turn and you see a man you saw only a short time ago. Unka? Hans. Unka? Did he get you too? No, Hans. I think I'm just sleeping. Oh. That is good. Sleep is good for you. Oh. But Avi. Oh no, a lake. Oh, do you think it's that one? Ah, uh, maybe. Well, um, Anka, I would, I wanted to say something, but I couldn't because my my throat was slit. So, I couldn't talk because of that, um, but, you know, I died. <laughs> okay, I don't want you to get your throat slit in a hospital by an evil man, or your, your head ripped off by a monster. Okay, I want you to promise no, me something, okay? What is it? That's when you die, it's going to be in bed from maybe old age, or maybe you fall off of the ladder trying to paint a large thing, maybe. But it has to be at home, okay? Hey, Hans. I promise. Hey. Don't care. I'm, uh, I guess, going to try and uh, have a little embrace as this, uh, the, the fog gets us. And you, Anker, you feel the embrace of Hans as though he were there. As Hans, I'm so sorry. You disappear into the darkness. William Ooh. Plateau Mountains, Hills, Lake And somebody's there Who is that? <laughs> the most hostile of the <laughs> Well I, I don't know where the fuck we are. 
You what look and it? you see a woman. A woman you haven't seen in years. Wait a minute. Susie? William? Is that you? I... You're not supposed to be here, Susie. I think you're the one who's not supposed to be here. Susie, where are we? I don't know. It's a lake, I I suppose. uh, I walk up and touch her. She's there. What the hell? Am I dead? Oh, hell, I hope not, William. He asked about some unfinished business to attend to. I don't know how I got here, but... I feel like I've been... here, there, everywhere. Everywhere but with you. I'll be joining you soon, but not today or tomorrow hopefully probably real soon though i got i got stabbed susie you got stabbed yeah i got stabbed weren't in a bar fight this time were it? no no i weren't in a bar fight it was you know i was just it was a crazy night i got off on a train you know we're in london now ain't that crazy london i yeah. always wanted to go to london <laughs> yeah Hell. it's it's not that good there's kind of shit people Weird stab shit. you <laughs> yeah well I'm sure you're able to suss out the quality mighty well. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm hoping we get this over with. You know, I hope I'm not dead because you know I'd rather go home. You know they don't serve sweet tea over here either. That, they eat that kidding. shit up. You're yeah, kidding? Yeah, yeah, that's weird. No sweet. It. What sort of barbaric land is that? I don't know. It's, where they get, where they sell the grits? I, they don't got none. They don't got no grits? They don't got no grits. Honey, Susan go back home. <laughs> Honey, go back home. That's what I've been trying to say. I won't get back home and eat some grits and get no hash browns shit. Hey, uh, let me tell you. I told you once, and I'll tell you again. Any place what don't sell hush puppies ain't a place I want to be. That's what I said when I got off the damn amen, boat. Amen, amen. Ain't got no hush puppy. Ain't got no sweet tea. Ain't got no goddamn grits. Goddamn, William, I miss you. I miss you too, Susan. Now listen, though. What? She walks up real close and, like, prods you in the chest. Ow! I don't want you showing your face around here for a good long fucking while. You understand me? Yeah, yes, ma'am. If you... Show your face. William Pranglier, I am going to give you a whooping the likes of which the world has never seen. All right. You understand? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> i see you around, William. But not I'll yet. I'll be seeing you, Susie. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh... I really hope I'm not dead. I hope I wake up. <laughs> Me too. I'll, uh... I'll say hi to the kids for you. Yeah, please do. Alright. And you drift into the cloth and the dark and the stars. Felix. Mm Mm-hmm. Plateau, mountains, hills, lake. Hey, this isn't great. Hi there, Felix. It's been a while. It's Frank. Frank! (laughs) Felix is just going to run up and try to hug Frank. You can, and you do. (laughs) Oh god, I missed you so much. Where are you, man? Where where did you go? (laughs) Remember that apartment complex? Yeah. It wasn't really an apartment complex on the inside. It was a portal to somewhere else. I'm so sorry. I should have gone in there with you. 
No, it's better that you didn't. So, I'm dead, right? I don't know. I know I am. What happened with your eye? Uh, Turkish people stole it and turned it into a homunculus. Well, make sure that doesn't happen again. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I got my life together. I have a successful business now. Wonderful. Is it, and uh, legit? It, it, it's legit on the front. But, like, times are bad now. Oh, sorry so, to hear that. We're, we're, we're feeding all the poor people. They're all dead, too. Everyone except Bronson. Oh, well, at least he made it out. Yeah. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. Well, any time you're alive is a good time to stop. <laughs> yeah I think this will be my last well I hope that I don't see you again for a long time I hope when we do meet we'll be under better circumstances moves forward as somewhere Brandon chants <laughs> as slowly you disappear into the dark and the stars So they didn't, they didn't kiss? All of you wake up in the morning. <clears throat> Anybody stabbed? We all good? Nah. In the heart. I think we're good. Yeah. Y'all yeah. are all acting a little weird. Do we all have a, you know, a dream? A drink? I dream. I, come on. Come on now, Mr. Mumbles. A I dream, you know, like sleep. Like, you know. I think. I think so. You think he had a dream? Do I remember it? Yeah, do, yeah, do it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a question. Do we know it was a fucking dream and everything? You remember it vividly. Mm. Yeah, it's just a real vivid dream. Remember it. Oh, God. My grandma's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're in your fucking dreams that your grandma said. Oh, no. It's not often your grandma gets to tell you she's dead, though. Holy shit! Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, new that's, age of... It's not often that the that you hear about a death in the family from the dead family member. <laughs> It's pretty metal, dude. <laughs> Why did your grandma tell you herself? I'm dead! Wait, why did you want to send me a message or a telegram, anything? <laughs> hey there, sweetie! I'm yeah, some fucking dead! <laughs> no one sent me a letter about this? What? what? Uh, I fucking ate shit in the bingo hall! I was smoking everything! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I finally won bingo and then I was leaving and I fell down about five or six flights of stairs. I won oh, bingo. God, it keeps happening. <laughs> and then I lost the game of life. My <laughs> grandma was at the top of the stairs shouting, 
I told you, honey. I warned you about the stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna be a piece of shit all day and carry all these bingo prizes down these stairs. <laughs> I can't believe I want to go off your bingo! <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. You're like, Grandma, why didn't you tell me that the way you died was so funny? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, your funny. death was epic. <laughs> you can see, uh, as you guys woke up, uh, all of you have clutched in your hands as though it was like held shut like like a rigor mortis hand all of you just have a little bit of yellow cloth oh god damn it this makes sense mm. I inspect it I'm going to put it in my suit breast pocket okay like a little handkerchief alright you're inspecting it Joseph mmm What's it smell like? I want to get a sniff too. It smells kind of like a, uh, kind of like f like old fruit. Yeah. Well, um, put my notebook. This is a bookmarker. <laughs> See. Alright, well now what do we do? Um... Is there a reply at the telegram? Hello? Is uh, fucking... we gotta go to the telegram store. Mr. Roby, has he written us back yet? I, it, someone go check the mail. Bronson, you like mail. Go out there and uh... check. Actually, can I talk to Felix instead? Okay. I'll I'm gonna go check the mail. Okay. Felix, can we can we go over for a walk and talk a bit? Yeah. How much right. walking and how much talking? Well, it don't have to be much walking, but the talking is gonna be a bit. <sighs> okay. Hmm. So what's on your mind? Uh, so so we all agreed we all had uh, dreams, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I saw Longbone. Uh huh. Uh. I saw Frank. Did he uh? Did he tell you? Tell me what? You that he's dead? Yeah. How it all happened? No. I, uh... I... It's, it's pretty selfish of me to not have told you so long now. I just, back then I was so traumatized and I, I told him, Longbone, that I was trying to wait for a perfect moment, but... You know, he, he motivated me to finally tell you. Um... That, that apartment that night, that was, we, we don't know what, what, what was going on. We just kept walking and walking through the halls and it just got worse and worse. Every door we opened just got more insanity. I, um, so eventually we were losing it ourselves. I, 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 I lost it. I, I became a little excited at uh, some not-so-good things. Uh, gore, specifically. It was not good. Um, and then... Uh, and, and, unfortunately, our friend Longbone also lost it, too. Mm -hmm. And... Fr Frank was holding on pretty well, actually. But... After Longbone lost it, he... Well, it just kind of surprised Frank there with the, well, a shot to the head. Um, yeah, I, I'm sorry, this, he doesn't have a, there's no, 
you know, big brave on or taking down big monster or anything. I, it was, it was awful that night. It only got worse as we went along. I really don't want to tell you any more details about him. Not, not good. We, we went, we went further ahead, and the, there was a door here. It was a really bad door. I don't know why we, I don't know why we opened it. It was just terrifying. Uh, we found the paper to figure out how to, how to solve it, but we didn't know how to do anything with it. But it was too late. Longbone had opened the door. After that, he was gone. I, I was all alone. But, uh, you know, then I, I solved it. You know, I, I got it. That's how I'm here. No one else from that night. <laughs> I... Again, I'm, I'm sorry for taking so long. That wasn't... That wasn't right. I... I... Well... Felix sighs. That was... Very brave of you to tell me. And... I appreciate your honesty. And... Honestly... I've come to terms with him not coming back years ago. It's... But... Don't worry. Because... I believe we'll see them again. I believe we'll see them again sooner than you think. Yeah. It's hard, it... but... Yeah. Felix will... Give him a hug and whisper on the shores of Carcosa. The shores. <sighs> and Felix is gonna walk away. Okay. Kind of, kind of mm -hmm. just want to hang around a bit, honestly. <laughs> okay. Bronson kind of lingers there for a minute. <laughs> Meanwhile, William was checking right, the mail. In the mail? <laughs> what is in the mail? What's in the mail. There is no letter. Nothing in the mail. From Faces. well, there's something checked. there. Oh, I open it back up again. There's. A... <laughs> we ain't got no letter. We ain't got no letter. We ain't Start got no letter. No one fucking likes us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's us. <laughs> yeah, maybe y'all should get good at being people. What? <laughs> Listen, I've spent 20 Maybe y'all should get good at being people is a is a good ethos for any tabletop campaign. <laughs> That's brutal. I've been avoiding the basic responsibilities of humanhood for my entire life. I'm not going to stop now. <laughs> um. This, oh, Christ. This cheese is so thick. I love in my fucking Warhammer campaign that my role is the only is the holder of the brain cell despite being a very high functioning <laughs> sociopath. <laughs> Those two are not mutually exclusive traits. <laughs> Just a dangerous combination. Um, there is something there. It's a letter. Oh boy. Open her up. Oh wait, I gotta write the the date. I forgot to change the date. I think I actually forgot a couple of times, so I think it's like the 8th. Um, it's a handwritten letter, and it's pretty sloppy. Uh, some misspellings. 
it's not a uh, super well written, but it is there, and it says the following. Dear friend, I call you a friend, though we have not met, and I hope will be soon. I think we can help each other, and I start to show that now. Combs says you were with Mr. Roby. I think you are no friend of Edward's, so I think you are looking at Bacon. You must know that Mr. Roby and Bacon used to be with Edward's Mr. Quarry and me. We are no longer together. Mr. Quarry has gone away, and Edwards and me speak little. You know where poor Mr. Roby is. But Bacon is a wicked man and is not a friend of mine. I blame Bacon for where Mr. Roby is. I want to help you settle him and ask what you will. Bacon will step out on the night of 12th November. You should follow him then. Be careful. Take friends and a weapon. Combs will not go with him, as he should if I ask, but he is a wicked man and will have wicked plans. Just watch him. He should be stopped. I will write again. I wish you the very best luck until that time. W. Gresty. What the fuck? Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what the fuck uh, you? Hey, Joseph, come out here. Come read this yeah. funny letter we got. Oh, like, come over. What's it say? Hey, look at this. What's it say? Wayne Gretzky! <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. He's not gonna be alive for some time. <laughs> that sounds like a great name! It's 1929? We only got, like, what? 32 years. That sounds like a... <laughs> I have a suspicion I should refer to this man as the Great One, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> Is he an Eldritch being? <laughs> Wayne Gretzky? Monster. Without yeah, a doubt. Extremely. Fuck follow hockey. Well, well, I guess that's what we're doing. Guy? I don't know, but it's, you know, it's all we got. It's sort of sloppy and badly written, and you haven't heard his name before, but he seems to know a lot of names you know. Yeah, so it's like, one, it's either a death trap and you get to see your grandmama again. What? Or two... Are you saying I'm gonna die? Or two... You know, this is going to be a very successful endeavor. I think it's win-win for all of us, Joseph. Look at where we get uh, we we screw it up really bad, but we still manage to save the day. It's, we we haven't done that yet. The other guys have. Well, we've already lost people, so I think we we got a good track record. We paid our dues. Yep. Uh, I guess we should wait for the other other fellers, and then we'll head down to the post office see if a you know, telegram came by. I don't know how long those things take. I've never used one before. It's kind of neat, though. Like, I'm, you know. I'm I'm getting the um the picture of that. By the way, I just have to fix a couple of things because there's typos on the thing, and it's driving me crazy. I thought they were intentional. No, I mean like there's like genuine typos that don't appear to be intentional. <laughs> mm. hmm. Well, that's uh, an unbelievably sloppy job, but it's, uh, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> Hang on, where the fuck did I save that to? Oh, here it is. There you go. Nice. Hell yeah. Had to kind of cobble that one together. <laughs> a couple of uh, good. A couple of mistakes there, but.
thousand hours in this game. Seems to know your dear friend Combs, at least. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'm Mr. Bacon. You're my fan, Bacon. Kill. We were right. We broke into his house. We could have killed him and been fine. We were in the right. I, I bet he would have fucked you guys up. We were shot. No, we shoot him in the street when he answered. The, when he goes to the gate. But he had like fucking layer actions or some shit. Oh, dang it! Right. He has immunity to non-magical damage. That's a problem. What I'm saying is he's a were-bear. <laughs> mm. Alright, I mean, I'm not here to, you know... Were the 12th of November is, of course, four days away. Oh. You guys want to go see Big Bear? What? We didn't celebrate Halloween. We started. Uh, Alright, let's wait for Felix and Browns to come back. They don't have Halloween in fucking Britain. At least not at this time. Yeah, we discussed yeah, that. We, 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 we already talked about this. We already talked about this and Guy Fox Day. <laughs> You guys oh, were away man. during Guy Fawkes Day, and you missed the burning of all the effigies. Oh, Damn. Oh, yeah. I wanted to celebrate the... Man, all the happened was I got assaulted. I want to celebrate Day of the Dead. Dang, what a terrible Guy Fawkes Day. I was beaten with a club in the dead of night. <laughs> really, really bottom five of my Guy Fawkes days. <laughs> Not quite as bad as the time my dad woke me up in the middle of the night saying that he'd lost all his money and we had to move out and sell to the Italian man again, but... <laughs> I spent that <laughs> night in the gutter. A real bummer, that one. I can't believe he wouldn't debt himself to an Italian. No, this is established canon. Every he, he repeatedly lost his house. He would always sell it to the same Italian man who was happy to sell it back once he got it back on his feet. Thanks, Italian man. He's a real hero. He's as fucking Bronson's father turns to the camera, eyes wide, bloodshot, mm -hmm. foaming at the mouth. One of the good ones. <laughs> Dad, where are you looking over there? <laughs> I'm frightening the studio audience. What? Why does he sound like that now? Dad, you're not supposed to acknowledge them. <laughs> Start clapping! <laughs> I want to I hear want that to one stock laugh sound effect that ends with this noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I want to hear the yes that goes yes. I also want to hear that cough. I want to hear man cough. <laughs> <coughs> he laughed too hard. <coughs> Funny, stupid man. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a guy on a talk show and like somebody coughs in the audience and he like wheels on them and walks up jabbing his finger and is like, You fucking moron! You stupid fucking retard! You piece of shit! Cover your mouth! Cover your dog mouth, you fuck face! <laughs> I'm gonna reach down into your fucking throat and pull out your lungs so you'll never cough again! Jesus Christ, Jimmy Fallon's gone mad! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty far for the course for old Jimmy F. Nah, he'd just start laughing. He wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, <laughs> wait. Oh, no, I was thinking of Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, he kills people. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Kimmel kills people. I'm gonna my hands down your throat and pull out your lungs! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> It was it's that? me, George Seinfeld! Terry <laughs> Seinfeld! George Seinfeld! <laughs> George Seinfeld. <laughs> Remember George Seinfeld's hit Netflix show, Comedians in a Car with a Gun? George Seinfeld and Jerry Costanza. Comedians in a Car, <laughs> in a car oh, covered fuck. in duct tape with a detonator. Oh, shit! Comedians in a car committing murder. 
<laughs> Joe Heaton's in a car committing murder. My favorite. If you're driving on the sidewalk... No, it was really awkward, awkward them, during the episode. It was really awkward during the episode of Comedians in a Car Getting Coffee when uh, he was in the car with Louis C.K. And like he, he went to go get out of the car, but Louis C.K. blocked the door and masturbated for like 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> It really sort of interrupted the pacing of the show, especially since they left it all in. Ah, you know, Louis isn't a bad guy! <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, comedians in cars getting coffee. Comedians in cars getting cummies. <laughs> oh. Wait, what did you say I zoned out? Say it again. <laughs> You've got. See, see, listen. This is why people oh. come to Call of Cthulhu. You've got, you've got the serious, heartstring pulling RP, and then you've got comedians in cars getting cummies. <laughs> it's the yin and the yang, you know. It's roller coasters, my man. You know. There's the hot and there's the cold man, and you gotta have both. <laughs> What's the deal with cultists? <laughs> Thanks, George. Thanks, George Seinfeld. <laughs> uh, I'm getting overheated. Have you ever noticed whenever you get mad, you all you get crazy? You always seem to be violent. Have you ever noticed that whenever somebody uh, doesn't respect you, you, you get a little crazy and you start to attack them with your fists? That's hey. kind of funny. Um. <laughs> you ever noticed when you're like at line, in, in line at the bank and it's taking a little too long and you just start to you just start to sweat a lot and then you start to visualize cutting open the stomachs of everybody around you? And then you go home and you masturbate to that thought? Huh? Anybody else? Hey, isn't it funny when you're, when you're trying to get something at the supermarket but this guy's blocking the aisle and you're standing there for like 10 minutes waiting for him to go and then after you get your stuff, you follow him to his car and then you take him into your car and you take him down into an alley and then you, 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 you do some, you have some fun with him. Isn't that funny? <laughs> You ever noticed when you're on the road and a, a guy cuts you off and you follow him home all the way 400 miles out of He's the way? He uses evidence in something. And you get out of your car and you go inside and you tie up his family and you force them to choose between their children? Isn't that fun? I mean, everyone's been there. And then, when they Decide which children, which child. You to choose kill. the other one. No, you just leave. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, fuck! Which movie does that? A, co a couple of things do that. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I hope George oh, Seinfeld sorry. can sue us for little. <laughs> Famous comedian. Comedium, George. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we may be getting a, a copyright strike since we just uh, verbatim did George Seinfeld's like whole act, basically. Yeah. So, He's a George. wait, is there a George Seinfeld? <laughs> He's starting to get confused. He's starting to George? wonder. George Seinfeld. <laughs> we've it's George Seinfeld, dude. Him. We've gaslighted Nick. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting to think this is like a Mandela effect thing. Has it always been George? No, I was like, wait, does he have a brother? Baron Stain Bears? He had a brother. <laughs> he had a brother. I can't, I can't believe they fucking spit Baron Stain. The guy who wrote that book is fucking psychotic. The guy who wrote the Baron Stain Bears is a sick fuck. Truly. You ever notice? I'm like, fucking God. <laughs> You're reading Berenstain Bears, and then you realize it's Berenstain Bears, so you look up where the author lives on the internet. I'm not even paying attention, it's just a fucking voice. That's the voice, is like, it's great, it's like fucking nails on chalk. No, like, yeah. <laughs> right? That's the point. Hey, listen, that show ran for nine seasons. What? Berenstain Bears? Comedians <laughs> in cars getting coffee! Doop, 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 doop. <laughs>
Please! Please! Let me out of this life! Please! I thought it was weird when they- his car! Let I thought it was weird my... that season seven I'm the episode. Real slide film, Jerry slide film, not you, George. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear him banging on the trunk. <laughs> George, really weird. please. Is the finale of comedian in cars getting coffee. That it was, it was, it was titled they, they a comedian in a car getting carbon monoxide. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just like a grainy footage of. Jerry Seinfeld sitting in his sitting in his fucking garage, telling jokes until he slowly falls asleep. <laughs> I mean, he has all video. four of his cars on <laughs> nightly. I've looked it up. In this reality, there are two seasons of the original Berenstain Bears shows and three seasons of a separate newer one. For a total of 92 fucking episodes. Wow! I just remember watching that shit on like PBS. Uh huh. I don't think I ever saw that show. I might have. My, my skull is getting There are also crushed. five made-for-TV NBC movie specials, which came what out first. What the fuck? Weird. Weird. I always confuse the Berenstain Bears TV show with PBJ Otter. What? PBNJ. What the, what the fuck is that? I don't know what PBJ Otter is. It was a noodle. fucking show. Do the noodle. Yeah. Noodle. Exactly. Do the noodle fucking. Dance. He knows. Hang on. The, the noodle dance sounds familiar. Hang on. Uh huh. We're gonna time travel back to the extremely late 90s and we're gonna oh. watch PBNJ Otter. Oh, yeah, those. They fucking look weird. I hate them. I hate looking at them. <laughs> fucking rude. I see the fucking grape looking, the eggplant looking mother, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's hot. Fucking ugly kids. You know Brandon's favorite song is Peanut Butter Jelly Time. He loves it. He, he puts on the album. He's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> I still think it's fucking wild that Peanut Butter Jelly Guy. Died in a fucking police shootout. Wait, what? What? Really? Peanut butter jelly guy is the cousin of Snoop Dogg, and he had a psychotic episode and died in a police shootout. Calvin oh. Broadus. There he is. There he is. <laughs> well, fuck me. Founding member. Oh. Founding member and vocalist Jermaine Fuller died during an 11 hour police standoff. Old Calvin Broadus tried to calm him down, but it didn't work. Fuller's death led to the disbandment of the Buckwheat Boys. <sighs> what I find so strange is that the two sections of this article are that and then the ice cream and cake. Yeah, I, I didn't really realize that was him. Which I don't even know what that is, to yeah, be honest. Oh, really? Oh, all right. I'm mad. Ooh. Well. Well. Um. <sighs> so he wants to drive around town and smash some mailboxes. Woo! For machetes? <laughs> um, oh, shit day. Anyways, so you find the letter in your we read it in your mailbox. Yep. Oh, there you go. Hey, everybody, come on, guys. No. Did they ever come back? I scream. Uh, hey! Felix came back, and a few minutes later, Bronson returns. Hey, look at this. I'll be right. All right, we're gonna go to the telegram office. Also known as a post office. You might have heard of it. Mm -hmm. Alright. You go to the telegram office. The post office. You might have heard of it. And there you see the telegram man 
who says, Oh, I remember you. You're the really? one who saw, mm, made me send a really unusual yeah. amount of telegrams all at the same time. Yes, sir. <laughs> you okay, sir? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just thinking about those telegrams. What? Well, anyway. I do have some telegrams. Sweet. I hear. I have two telegrams. One for... Uh... You there? He hands it to Pringler. Yeah, thank you. One for you there, sir. And hands it to Joseph. Thank you. Hey, open the fortune cookie. What does it say? Uh, it says, ask again later. No, um, it's, <laughs> it says, Man, very good, stop. <laughs> Make sure that they are supple and ready to be found and killed, stop. Also, your grandmother is dead, <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he just now tell me? It's been months! I thought it would be funnier this way. Stop. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's part of it. Oh, Alright, what am I The say? bank! Stop! Okay. So, sounds like him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Do you, do you look at yours, William? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it says... Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I just wanted to let that silence drag out until you made a noise. No. Uh, it says... I, I saw my internet do it first. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an asshole. Um, it says... Goliath researching yellow sign. Stop. Equipment cannot be sent overseas at this time. Stop. Trouble in the money department. Stop. See the caretaker. Stop. Oh, yeah. I forgot he's over here. Cool. Alright. Thank you, thank you, sir. Do we gotta pay you for, like, giving this to us? I've never done this. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> he thinks for a second. Yes! Why are you allowed to, sir? <laughs> Six dollars a piece. <laughs> what? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, is this like one of those uh, collect calls? Is that it? A Takes a sip of his morning coffee. Any psychology hmm. on that? He's lying. <laughs> okay. He's... I'd say thank you for the job. Yeah. We have a collect telegram from. <laughs> He goes back to doing All right. whatever he was doing, which is probably just smoking. <laughs> All right, Joe. All right, do I know where the caretaker is at? Um, chuffing a fat. You dart. would you would be aware of where oh. the caretaker was in case of emergencies. Okay, well, if it's an emergency. We're gonna go find him. All right. You guys pile into a vehicle, and for some reason. This strange man, William, is driving you somewhere that you have no idea where you're going and is telling you you're about to meet the caretaker. It's not mm. weird. Like, don't worry. Like, you know, the name's kind of strange, but I swear it's nothing like that. Grandma? No, it's not Grandma. Oh, Your grandma's really dead, grandma. Joseph. Oh, yeah, the grandma. sooner you accept that, the yeah. better. Grandma. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Look, Joseph, you know, no, it's all right. It's all, oh, it's okay. No, don't put your fucking snotty nose on me. <laughs> Gam Gam Gma 
Yeah, Gmon. Gmon is him. She was really him. Who's it? She was in a. Tragic. She she played she played in a, a swing band. Tragically, happened. right up until her death. <laughs> And she was she was fucking jamming too hard on stage, and her heart just gave out. So she was playing bigger. Then she fell down five flights of stairs. And then she fell f down five flights of stairs. <laughs> and then, as she hit the bottom, she won bingo. <laughs> she won bingo, and walking around the corner was the bank, who said, ha, "I'll talk about that in exactly three months." There he is, good old bank. He has some weird like. Bingo parties. <laughs> it's, it's, it was, no, it was just Grandma, the bank, Goliath, and Big Mama all playing bingo by themselves. Oh, she, she was playing music, fell down some stairs. She was, she was, why, is she was grandma, why is his grandmother a part of it? Because she's tight with the foundation. She's, she's Gma. She's Gma, that was her code name. <laughs> That's how I got into it. What do you it. think the G stands for? She is Goliath. She's not dead. <laughs> I don't think she's Goliath. Um, so. <clears throat> you drive into an especially nice neighborhood. Uh, it's really, really quite fine. Especially considering you guys have been skulking around a lot of uh, shitty... Like one road villages and shit lately. Um, you're surrounded suddenly by opulent mansions and quite a lot of land and wrought iron gates and elegant brickwork and all sorts of good shit. And you come up to a small, mod modestly sized, but uh, very nice looking. Uh, house sort of on the corner of the street relatively unassuming white paint uh simple iron fence sort of a uh, unassuming something a house that you would see uh, it looks nice but you wouldn't look twice at it and uh you know this to be the address william all right we're here boys oh Okay. Mm. Alright, let's go meet the caretaker. Everybody out. Get out of the fucking car. I'm just afraid. <laughs> oh, it's I don't know. Now you know what I do understand why you're afraid. Alright. Ring the doorbell. Or do something. Or do something. Them. I do something to alert him to our presence. There's a knocker on the door. <laughs> I knock on the door using said knocker. Wow, what a set of knockers. <laughs> There's a knock A knocker, not knocker. Yeah, exactly. Shit. What a knocker. There's a a minute's pause. And the the door opens and you see uh a a middle aged woman. Looks like probably like a a housemaid or something uh, says, "Yes, can I help you?" Uh, hi, ma'am. We're here to see the caretaker. I'm the caretaker, honey. All right, all right. All right mm. Look, look. See here, like you know, Beto's here. One moment. All right, she thanks. steps back into the building. Uh. Not too long later, uh, she opens the door again and says, Come inside. It's All in right. the sitting room. <laughs> what? The sitting room. Oh. Are you... <laughs> Can I still shit there? No. <laughs> it's a nice house, and I have to clean it, fucker. <laughs> she waves what, what you guys in. What are we you for? All right, go inside. Ooh. She waves you guys in. And you can see, uh, she, uh, sort of, uh, <laughs> takes off the housekeeper hat as you walk in, and, uh, <laughs> takes off the robe and sort of hangs it up and says, They're clear! And sort of just, like, saunters upstairs, and you can see, uh, she's, like, wearing, like, essentially a nightgown underneath. 
and just like saunters up the stairs. <laughs> Um, and you hear like some muttering from upstairs it sounds like the voices of women ew and uh wow. you walk What's into up? the uh uh sitting area and you can see sitting there in a uh sort of like a, a red lounge jacket uh sitting there smoking a pipe is a man that most of you have met before. A Mr. Beddoes. Formerly butler to the deceased Professor Julius Smith. Oh. He says, You certainly have good timing, William. Look, look, it wasn't my intention, and if it were up to me, we wouldn't even be here right now. But, you know, things haven't gone as planned. I got a shot in the stomach, look. Uh, not that, shot, I got stabbed. Yeah. That does not look very good. No, I think huh. it might be infected. Well, oh. um, so... Uh, hello, hello, Bronson. Uh, hey, Mr. Beto. Takes a puff I, on the pipe. I'm, I want to say I'm surprised, but not... Also, <laughs> yes. Well, I've gotten busy in the last couple of years, and uh, well, with Professor Smith no longer among us, rest his soul, yes. I've had to take on certain duties. Well, I'm, I'm good for you to keep him busy. Yes, uh, I'm currently serving as the British liaison to the Foundation. Uh, None of them are affiliated, are they, William? I can never remember. Uh, this one right here is a Pat Joseph on the head. They're... Hello? I don't think they're a part of it yet. You know, hopefully after we get out of here alive, hope, hopefully. We know, like, well, well. Sure, we could always use more. Oh, he's yeah. uh, he's the hanger-on from the bank, is he? Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, That's me. you've got to do what you've got to do, I suppose, for money. Yeah. Uh, so, you've been shot. I'm assuming that the paperwork I gave you was... Has it served you well? Oh, yeah, it's, it's actually served us quite a bit. It's still doing fine. Well, that's good to hear. Um, about the gut shooting. You want to fill me in? Uh, all right. So... You know, we were sitting here to inve to investigate this uh, play, right? Yeah. Uh, and I've already like you know filled in everybody back in the states about this, but there's a yellow sign going around with this play. There's some weird shit going on with it, and uh, what I am assuming is a member of a cult that worships this thing is after us because we're doing some digging. We're you know. We're getting close to something because we're pissing the right people off. Uh, one of our mem yeah, one of our members ended up recently, like being killed by one of these fellows. Oh, um, I'm sorry to hear oh, that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know him too well, but the other fellows did. You know, so it's you know he's do he's doing the world of service. But uh, yeah, uh, recently. Uh, there's some shit going on with, uh, where was it, Springer's Mound? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you might want to send some, a little bit more uh, teams out there with a little bit more firepower, because there's some critters flying around out there near some stones. Well, there's not much we can do here, you know. Most of the, uh, yeah. most of the foot personnel are in the states, I'm afraid. You're yeah, I'm, I'm just saying pretty that, much know, what sure. we've got here. You just make sure that, like, if you can, keep important people out of that area. Well, if I hear word of anybody getting too close to Springer Mound, was it, you say? Uh, yeah. The, this, I forgot the name of the hill, exactly. Is it That's the name of the hill. Okay, yeah, it was, it was straight up yeah, Springer's Mound. There's some... Well, if, I hear, if I hear of anybody going that way, I will certainly warn them off. Uh, yeah. yeah, don't don't mess with them stones because they'll birds will come down and 
He picked up Browns and almost planning him on off. it, but duly noted. Yeah. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is the people or person that has, you know, that's been met roughing us up. He has, seems to have eyes quite everywhere. So I would, you know. So you've led him to my house, is what you're saying? I like didn't. You? I didn't. No, maybe. <laughs> you see, this is why normally we communicate remotely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, 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 this was very, like, things have gone shit, Meadows, like, really, really bad. One of our members is in the hospital. I got stabbed in the gut. Bronson is almost dead. Joseph is Joseph. Hello. <laughs> what about him? He looks alright. Points to Felix. <laughs> oh, that's Felix. You don't remember Felix? I remember Felix. Hello, Felix. <laughs> Hello. Check out his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Didn't. Nice. <laughs> I, John, thought John, it, John. I thought it polite not to comment on it. I'd prefer not to in polite company. And there we are. You see, William, you could do a thing to learn about politeness. I'm plenty polite, Bellows. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you understand, William, this is why we hire you for muscle and... Uh, you know, Man, sending you looks, into a diplomatic that's... mission was sort of uh, an act of desperation. I thought it, I thought it was a funny joke on <laughs> y'all's part, but... Well, we thought about giving the uh, the psychology papers to Joseph, but we decided that uh, the bank would be displeased if he was more in the line of fire by taking charge. Yeah, that's So reasonable. we really had no choice but to settle for you. You're really scrapping the bottom of the barrel here. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just here to shoot shit and, like, beat things up. I ain't here to <laughs> do a whole lot of talking. You know this. Pedos, dearie, are you coming back? In a minute. In a minute, I'm deal. I have company. Sorry about that. <laughs> that was, a uh, uh, Priya. Still at it? Always. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Professor Smith wasn't kidding when he called me a tyrannosaur. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally getting the confidence. He wasn't here for that. <laughs> oh yeah, he wasn't. <laughs> this, is, this is established canon character traits. Yeah, this old man likes to fuck. He's not. He's not that old. He's like how old is? He's like, like mid to late forties. Nonsensical. Fuck? He's at least 76. <laughs> He's not. He's not that old. You're going on 102. He yeah. was just a butler. I didn't. I never said he was ancient. <laughs> he is. What do you mean? He looks like fucking Michael going Kane. On 17. He doesn't look like my. <laughs> 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 I have. I gave a picture of him once upon a time. Yeah, but I, I forgot it. So then I was like, English button. butler, Michael Kane. What a fucking racist. Damn, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. What? I mean, I want to be described as Michael Caine when I get old. What do you mean? You then? All right, anyway, Vettos, uh we also need some weapons as well. Weapons. What yeah. sort of weapons? Like I can guns. see from the shape in your jackets, you're all I'm carrying just happy large bladed it. instruments. <laughs> I have my blackjack right in my crotch. <laughs> That's not an efficient place to store that, Joseph. <laughs> I've been having to waddle all day. Why can't you people carry weapons? <laughs> What? Is there something specifically you need from me, or are you just going to stand about babbling in my sitting no. room? <laughs> I didn't even slur that. <laughs> yeah, 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 can we, like, I need a forty-five revolver if you have one. He, uh, reaches into the pocket of his, uh, his lounge... Uh, like robe, and just pulls out a forty-five and says, "Consider it a loan. Don't lose it." I won't. I might, but I'll. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Do you have ammo for it? 
He stares at you for a long <laughs> second. I You're a fucking though. himbo, dude. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> He's a the himbo. Holy shit! No, that's a grimbo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> no, did you? Beto's Beto's has the exact shape of a late forties to early fifties British man, just regular old dude. It's just he knows how to work. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna post Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> what? Hmm. I'm gonna. Do all right, all right, all right. Let me let me show you. Both of these images are in the first row of results for decrepit old man. <laughs> <laughs> the first guy looks like Nosferatu, but the second guy... Nuke would fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck, Gordon? Holy shit! I thought that was Alex Jones for like a little Why bit. Why does he look... What's going on? He looks He's weird. A... This man is breathing man. in deeply in this image. He's cringing, bro. <laughs> He's like, oh, paparazzi, kind of cringe, bro. If you try to push him underwater, he'll he'll shoot up violently. He's too buoyant. Oh my god, this is a horrifying image. What is his like... body shape? Fuck. <laughs> Holy <That's> shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, calm down. I've never, se I've never seen <laughs> a man more aggressively sucking in his gut in an image. <laughs> it's he's doing it so hard, it's causing him physical pain here. He, he it doesn't. Uh... No, he, he just looks like that dude. <laughs> That's just his shape. He he's not like... breathing in at all. That's just his shape. That's just what he looks like! His shape looks like somebody's taken, like, a large dinner plate and pressed it into the center of his stomach. What if his stomach yes! just looked like that? What if it just did that? He just looks like that! <gasps> oh, what the hell? Oh my god! Oh my did god, he, he looks like he fucking crying. Oh my <laughs> god, you're right! Was he, he in a war or something? Like that. That's like just the shape belly? of his body! What it's the awesome. fuck? That's insane. He's got like cauliflower stomach. Oh, his kids inherited it too. Uh oh. I don't want to see his fucking kids. I don't need to see the lumpy bodies of Gordon Ramsay's kids. Show me the lumpy body. I need to see this <laughs> though. Holy shit. I think it's just he has a misshapen rib cage. Something and he is he passed it to his kids. Why is he putting on that Kurt Angle <laughs> singlet? He's go okay. He's gonna slay. Dude. Okay, let me tell you something. Those are cycling clothes. I work in the cycling clothes <laughs> shop. Those, those, those are those are uh like bib shorts. He has his waist measurements tattooed on his arm. Wow. Now listen, this image of Gordon Ramsay's mutated physique is disturbing, and so is the fact that it's apparently hereditary. But the funniest thing about this image is hoob. <laughs> Hoob. Hoob. Also, somebody appears to have branded him. He's a prisoner. <laughs> I mean, he's missing a pectoral here. It's gone away. <laughs> it is said farewell. <laughs> he's just made a rubber, dude. <laughs> this, All right. This is a mashed potato man. <laughs> Anyways, he says... Ammo is your responsibility. Fair enough. Oh, um, could you get us a gun license? License. Oh yeah, yeah. Just in case, like you know. A gun license. Yeah. Um. You give me a couple of days. I can probably try to work something out. That sounds good to me. I can get somebody on it. Um, I appreciate it. Now, about like medical care, because I'm hurt, and apparently doctors around here can't fix me up too if fast. If you want medical care, and he sits up, there's a hospital just oh down god, the Betta. way. Oh my god, Betta, that's why we don't invite you to the fucking potluck. You've never been to the potluck. The real potluck. Real potluck? 
What? This is a real potluck? Oh no! <laughs> not one. now! He can't handle this news! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? My dead wife came back and talked to me. Now you tell me this is a potluck. My dead wife came back for a bit to taunt me, and now I'm missing out. I'm sorry, potluck. William, but you're going to have to put in a lot more work before you're invited to the cookout. What is cookout? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody always brings hush puppy. <laughs> you, you invited Joseph, but not me. <laughs> he was the Banks the plus one. Yeah. <gasps> this is ridiculous. You know how many times I've almost died for y'all. <laughs> listen, listen. If you do good work on this assignment, I promise, I promise, I'll <laughs> speak to Big Mama personally about getting you on the list to the potluck. I look at his. I look at his fingers. I look behind his back. They are wrapped around each other like barbed wire. <laughs> that, that sounds good, Badhouse. <laughs> Will there be All anything right. else, or I, are you done endangering me by leading armed men to my home? Look, I think, I think it's only like five, at least five guys. Like it's burgers and fries. Like, how many women you got up there? Like, give them a gun, they're good to go. <laughs> Binders of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a deep old cut. Fellas, we're time traveling back to like 2011 here. Wow. We're time traveling back to 1962 when the Zodiac Killer started. <laughs> <laughs> when Ted Cruz. When Theodore Cruz, known Zodiac <laughs> Killer. Began to execute Maki, <laughs> or as his friends called him, Theodore <laughs> Kruzinski. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I think the simple fact is that all serial killers in the last 50 years have been wrongly accused and they've all been Ted Cruz. Well, yeah, he has women in his basement. Finders full of them. That's a different man. <laughs> no, he pressed them into cards. <laughs> it's like how you—it's like how you flatten four-leaf clovers between books, but it's human skin. Remember that time we were playing Cinderella and uh, Slayer showed his book of flowers to the party, and then showed everybody his his the black lotus that he had pressed into his book and then you and Ronick just started making black lotus jokes for about 20 minutes <sighs> wow yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> complete silence yeah <laughs> Is that all? Yes, sir. Unless anybody of my other associates have anything. I associate with you. I, Felix, why do you got to do this in front of him? <laughs> he just, sort of, he just sort of like looks at Felix and looks back at William and he, he has like a look of like, eh, yeah, about right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye Badoes. Farewell. And thank, please, thank don't bugger this up, or I swear on the immortal soul of Dr. Julius Smith. Immortal? That, that you will never come within a thousand miles of the potluck. <laughs> Guys, we can't fuck this up. We got hush puppies. Guys, this is really serious, okay? He's, he's a, <laughs> I mean, and he, he's, and he sort of like twicks out like a little notebook. He's like, must remember to tell them to bring the good sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> Tears are running down William's face as you leave. No, they want, they want.
they could. They have been. <laughs> For years. Two, to be exact. Um... <laughs> And you leave the house of the caretaker. What? Oh, that was nice. Oh shit, I forgot. Were we? I even think it's... We had a... Grimoire. Or a book. Yeah, you did. It would take you like a few weeks to read it, right? Or a month. Was it... Was it a month? I don't remember. I thought it was a couple days. But I have not been keeping. Uh, I'm sure someone knows. Someone has a PDF in front of them. Of what? Of pictures of pretty girls. <laughs> PDFs of pretty girls? Interesting. Yeah, well, that's what he looks like. That's what he looks at. <laughs> he also looks like a pretty girl because that's compliments on people. Anyways. Alright. You can't just say alright and then what, remain what, silent. Whatever, whatever do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we're done here. So, I know that. <laughs> what are you doing now? What do you guys want to go do? <laughs> gonna touch you. What? Bronson, what was that? No, Nick, that was me. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Madden reaches down from the sky. <laughs> oh, shit. Come over here, Nick. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have the They're same doing... matter. Um, I mean, it's like 11, do you want to... Yeah, I think totally. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a nice spot to stop at. Alright. See you next month. As you leave the <laughs> caretaker's place, you pile into the car, and you look into the sunset, and you say... I we wonder, really need to invest in a van. I wonder if we'd been playing longer. We would have gotten to see KMS's new character. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and we close <laughs> the session. Yeah, I'm sorry, Camus. <laughs> At least Camus got to play two of his older characters. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep the black bar there for longer, it'll build suspense. We didn't even we didn't quite get to three hours. You wanna hang on for three minutes? Sure. I don't wanna yeah. force his I I floor it. Into the oh. wall. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Goodbye! Bye-bye. Bye. See you in Hans, a year! Hans wishes you a good <laughs> night from the beyond. Merry Christmas Again. and Happy Always New Year. Always next summer. Remember, even on Tuesdays when we don't show up, I want you to smile. Okay? And, uh, You're dead, Watch look at Blurs of Strahd and be like, And, and like, watch Blurs of Strahd? And, no. um, subscribe don't to and football. donate to our PayPal. Uh, <laughs> you don't hear Smash that yeah, motherfucking yeah. like button. <laughs> and hit the bell so you know when... <laughs> if you, you want to hear Nick's deep, dark secrets, head on over to... No!